Okay, and we should be going right now, so they should be able to hear us. Hey guys, what's up? It's Will here. And okay, and we should okay. be oh crap. going right now. So Okay, there we go. So it wasn't me that caused the echo. I feel good about that. I did everything right. Okay, hey guys, what's up? It's Will here. Uh, okay, there we go. Oh. So it wasn't me that caused the echo. Oh, what's awesome. Who, did it, who, no, did, no, 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 who didn't mute the stream? Uh, there we go. It's Adam. It's not me. That is. It's muted. I, I swear. Oh, I think it was me. Uh, <laughs> it was, I had a, on the live control panel, I forgot to mute it. And Apex just commented. Good. Good. We're going we're gonna to get somewhere with this. Okay. So I think our audio is live. And they can hear everything we're saying now. So we're good. And. Okay. So. Oh we are, we're, we're in. So. Okay, so. I have a list of uh, topics and kind of like a questions type thing. Somewhere in one of these note cards that I wrote down on. Okay. One of the things is, what do you guys think the future of YouTube is going to be once the really popular graphic designers that are big now, like, say, Strats and um, A or Acres and Apex, when they, well, Apex has kind of already done this, but when they stop YouTube and they go freelance. I and, last week, what? What? I uploaded it last week. I've not stopped. Well, I know you haven't stopped. I saw your video actually, and it was really good. But um. Yeah, I'm just being like really. It's not that I've quit or anything. It's just I'm getting graphics block, and I can't really do anything. Uh, and yeah. I, I've made about five videos. That I've just been because they weren't that good. Yeah. So, yeah. so you're saying like when they quit? Yeah, like well, not necessarily quit. Just when they eventually just go on their stop. own and they stop uploading well, more. There'll be new people that go on there. There'll be new big people. Well, that's yeah. true. I guess so. Yeah. I mean, people have work all the time. They, people, uh, for instance, mm -hmm. if you look at Straps' as new work, I mean, it's not going to be long until he gets hired by someone. Oh, that's true. Think? I think Straps is already getting hired by a ton of people because he, yeah, he always it's, has, it's like... It's really good. Yeah. Really. I'm, trying, I'm trying to get into it because it's something I can't do. So. <laughs> Why can't you do Illustrator. I'm oh, I know. I, I've tried Illustrator so many this times. Right until this week. So, yeah, apart from making logos for C4D, but that's pretty much it. Yeah. Um, Evan, Evan, the thing is with Evan, though, is he, he was like in the industry before he did YouTube. It was the other way around for him. 
Yeah, so, he already knows like how to expect how to get clients and stuff. He's got a job as a creative director, so I mean. Oh my god, that scared me. Mm -hmm. What the hell? And he works as a creative director for like a company in. Uh, I think it's uh, Morel Works. How is that, Jay? Like, I don't. I it's still, good. It's good. I still don't understand like what Morel Works is. Like, is it just like a site where it's people go? Studio. It's just like a normal design studio, except it's based online. Okay. Like, I think they get work. So there's people like uh, um, Jason Merrill who runs it and uh, there's another guy um, not too sure of everyone's names off the top of my head but like they, they do all the admin work. People speak to them about like jobs. They talk all the prices <coughs> and then they, they ask one of their artists like me, Evan, uh, Grand Flake, Street Effects if we want to um, if we want to make make the thing. So that's how it works. Um, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, it's something I don't like. I don't like speaking to clients about money because I'm really uncomfortable asking for someone for my prices. <laughs> yeah. I think everyone's going to expect me to do it for like five pounds. Oh, yeah. Well, no, that's the difference between YouTube and stuff. And I, I saw a commentary that someone did about it. And like where? The description. But I remember um, someone said that like, if people on YouTube started charging what people in the actual industry charged for the same like quality work, like a logo and stuff that companies use, companies pay like triple or quadruple times what yeah, it's, designers. It's true. I've got experience from that too. I mean, I've been uh, I did like a, I do kind of like ads for some guys. Like I did a pillow ad not too long ago for some like memorable pillow wanna be like thingy and. They pretty much they charge way more for anime. Like they, um, like I charged them way more and they paid me way more. Like for instance, yeah, you could do Like I got paid like let's say uh, something like, like ten grand for it, and it was like it's a lot of money compared to what people would pay today. People today would pay like like on YouTube, they would probably pay me like like up to five hundred dollars for what I did. But mm -hmm. like companies really pay you something good, yeah, like a lot of money because they have it. Okay. Yeah, I mean that's understandable. I mean like. That's why I just kind of can't wait to kind of myself migrate out of the YouTube realm uh, and kind of jump in after else. college and stuff and like jump into a thing. And Jay, but you the have... problem about this is that you see so many YouTube, like a lot of people on YouTube, right? But imagine all those people want to do, want to do what you're doing, right? They're all trying to do what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And like, it's going to be really hard to get accepted these kind of things now because a lot of people are doing it and, you know... It's just they're searching for the best ones. Um, what kind of jobs are there? Well, for, for graphic designs, like a. You mean, kind of, that's the only job you're looking at for uh, if you're starting out, uh, junior graphic designer for a company, and then you'll move up. Yeah, yeah there's right. spots. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for a job now actually because I've, I've finished college and yeah. I haven't got a design degree or anything because there's no there's no courses near where I am, so. I've got to, I've got to do everything based on a portfolio with no like yeah. brain. That's, like, that's another thing I wanted to ask you, Jay. Like, what what is your opinions on like getting a designs degree? Like, do you think it would be worth it or? Yeah, you yeah. Do it? yeah, but but no, I, don't I, don't think... I don't know because really, like you could have to spend if you do a design degree, you're spending six years of your life on it. So yeah. that's true. I mean, that's like but becoming I, a doctor or something. I, I think... remember. You, Remember, you guys need, you, you always want to have, like, a backup, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Because I have friends, like, in cases where they go to, like, college, right? And turns out, like, they're going for designing, and it does not work for them. And then they become, like, they're just, like, bums. They're nothing. And it's just, I don't know, uh, like, you got to have a backup because stuff can happen. And you could waste your money on stuff. And you just don't know what you're going through. That's an issue. You know what I'm Yeah. Well, back up in marketing as well, so I probably fell back on. Yeah, yeah. description. I totally <laughs> forgot to email partner support, so hopefully I don't get in trouble for this. <laughs> and my computer is being slow. Okay, there we go. Partner support. Okay. Um. Let's see. What else do we have? Any more questions? Uh, one thing. Um, this is for Apex because I think we talked about this in the Vulture stream. Um, Apex, how did you get into doing YouTube graphics? Um. To be honest, I was looking around and I saw one of Strats' videos and I thought, well, you know, if other people are doing it, why can't I? But I, I didn't know it like three years before I started YouTube. So, I mean, I was yeah. already in the Yeah. Just, just off of YouTube. I started like eight months ago. 
I started about 10 years ago. <laughs> At YouTube, but I mean... Uh, yeah, I made... Really? I, think I, was six I just started, like, doing graphics, like, eight months ago. Because my friend did it. Like, one of the first people I met when I... I like, I moved up from Miami to Jersey, like, last year. And the first, like, kid I met, like, did it. And he just, like, taught me how to do it. I mean, it's... Whatever. Wow. Okay, that's that's understandable. I Jay, think uh, how long have you been doing graphics for? I mean, just six, overall? Six years. Six, six years? years? Wow. Yeah. So you got yeah. much experience. Yeah. Well, I've already been doing web design and background too, so... I did, I did manipulations and stuff before. I'm so kind of feeling jealous because, you know, where, like, if you do animations, you kind of have the process of doing the same thing. Unless new programs come out, you get to learn them, but I mean, you guys can go and do web designing and different things. Animation is just like a process of doing it. Well, that's I mean, it, it is fun because I like ha I like modeling and stuff, but you know, it does get annoying. Animation is just painful, yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, I understand that, and uh, let's see. Yeah, this is the uh, thing, really. You go there, you get a job, like, paying six figures a year easily. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a lot. Uh, well, what is it if you're a a, a senior designer? For a company makes it what ninety ninety seven thousand? Ninety thousand? Some yeah, like ninety seven thousand. Like I googled it, and it the first thing that came up was like Business Weekly or something, and it said like a like a regular senior designer for a company, they make around ninety thousand. So it's year? very it's gonna a be year. very hard to be a senior, but I mean yeah, but yeah, you do get paid a lot for doing these kind of things. It's very like it's very important to have the kind of flow and design that people want because, you know, you go to a website and you see, like, all white and stuff like that. Who wants that, you know? Who's going to go with that company? You need to make it look professional. And once you do it for one company, other companies <clears throat> want it if they like it. That's you know, true. It's just, it's just the start. If you guys don't understand, like, the start matters the most. If you're not going to start up wood, you're not going to be wanted, so, like, until you show, you prove yourself. Mm -hmm. Yo, know, that Waldo, Waldo kid had a good question in the, uh, Comments. Uh, we you have Waldo Concept. Waldo read Concepts it. just did a comment. Um, as there is different styles of graphics, suck as grungy and clean, and have one we see in the live stream. What is the best style to learn for the long run if you wish to go into graphics shop? I think website logo creation, branding, yeah, branding like and branding. advertising. And the style that is, look at, um, if you've ever seen, uh, have you guys seen the show Shark Tank, I think it's called? Yeah, the, like, the oh, wait, they, like, no, it's not Shark Tank, it's the pitch. Or whatever. Well, no, I'm I, I mean the pitch. Have you seen the pitch? Yeah. That show is one of my, like, new favorite shows that I saw, where basically, like, two design teams get hired to make an advertisement for a company. The one I saw was Subway, and, like... They came up with, like, awesome ideas. They made posters and stuff, and I was like, that's something I would want to do in the future. Um, and, uh, like, that's what I think, like, would be one of the best styles to learn, I guess, if you wanted to do in the future. I'm not a pro yet until I go through college, which will be in two years, so. What are you, a junior? I'm a junior, yeah. Me too. Let's see. Oh, you guys are Okay. Yeah. Um, another thing would be coding. Like, uh, that's one thing I really want to learn, is coding. Uh, coding Jay doesn't code. Yes. Jay, or Jay, do you want to code? Uh, no. I'm gonna be honest, no, I don't. You don't? <laughs> it's, it's not, it's not a fun habit, man. I don't. Uh, it's not fun. Uh, I got into graphic design because it was a hobby, but I, I can't see coding becoming a hobby, to be honest. Yeah, coding, it's really hard to make it a hobby. It's more of, like, 100% you want money. It's yeah. for the money. It's That's true. Funny. That is true. And, you know, there's not much to it. Like, I mean, coding, it's, it's the same thing over and over again. And, yeah, it's not really fun. Uh, In my perspective, you know, the, another opinion can be, like, amazing. So, you know, I don't want to just, like, take someone out of that. Yeah. Um, and what are you guys, uh, wait, first of all, are you guys running CS6 or CS5? I'm running CS6. Uh, are you running 5, Jay? Yeah. Okay. So I wanna I wanna amazing. show you something. Six. Hold on. Let me set up cam twist real quick. Uh, do I have Photoshop open? No, I gotta open Photoshop. Um, 
One thing that I really like um, about CS6 is the content aware tool. Now I think I demoed this in the Vulture stream or it was Graphics Live episode one. But this is this is like amazing. It's where like um if you like had two people laying in grass, say you're like a photographer and you had two people laying in grass and uh, you wanted to move one, you wanted to adjust one, or you wanted to just remove a person, right? Yeah. You can do it with this tool, and it pulls, like, everything around it and makes it as if they were never there in the first place. Really? But so that's like, it's like, it's so Wait, what? what? That's in CS5 also. It is? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I, I saw it uh, on okay. one of the videos for CS6. I thought no, it they, was... They said they enhanced its abilities, but it's still in CS5. Uh, I'm looking at now. That's pretty cool. Like here, What's I'm gonna go ahead and switch over from that video. We'll get back to that video, guys. But um, like if you delete like an area, like whoever asked that, if you delete an area of a piece, you just like click fill and then content to where. Google.com slash images. I'm gonna get it. You don't even have to do it this time. Like it's where you just circle around them, you pull them out of frame, and then it just it does everything for you right then. Well, uh, I like uh, I like the perspective of Jay's. What he thinks of the community today? Oh yeah, that was on my list as well. Yeah, we should. Uh, we should get, yeah. So, what do you think of the community like and like what's going on today? Like, there's a bunch of like new graphics and people like that and like all the flash and stuff and uh, they put a lot of overlays and you know what I mean. Jay does yeah, that. Yeah, everyone's always done. Though. Yeah, you that's no. But I'm not. I'm not talking. Like, remember the trend a long time ago was like. You know, Miller type backgrounds, like how he does a lot of like textures and whatever that's called. I'm not really sure. I'm not really a background designer, but I mean, and then now it's all flashy and like all about like, you know what I mean? Like it's just flashy. Oh, yeah, it's changed. It's more about clean, professional looking backgrounds. Um, that's the future, I think. I think that's where we're heading right now is just the clean, simple, professional. Web, web, web looking backgrounds, that's what. Like well, there's a lot of web, yeah. like weird web backgrounds that I've seen, and those I think they're they're gonna become the next trend because they I see mean, many people, big designers using it these days, and you know it's just yeah. gonna go there. I don't know. But people I mean, should try to get away from that, like space, whatever everyone uses. I don't but know. I, I kind of like that. I don't stuff. find space as long as you use it with a concept. If it's just yeah. Like, the yeah, design. or like it. It's just like everyone has the same exact background, and it looks all well, identical. Well, that's that's one thing that's been said a lot is like the COD style background because that's what all the COD designers like. But mm -hmm. here, I'd like to say something as I stated before, like yesterday, mm -hmm. it was it's or like a couple of days ago. It's it's very. I think it's really important that people kind of follow your trend. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. once they follow your trend, it gives you new ideas to different ones. Like it makes you have to do new ideas. Cause you see, like when ever when like you guys started doing like let's say the flashy background or something like that, there then they started doing it, and then you guys are thinking of new things. Like now you're doing the web ones, and it's just like yeah. it helps you guys a lot too. That is another thing I'm seeing a lot more web interface. And if you guys are watching the stream, I just demoed it right there, where the leaf was in the grass, and I just circled around it, pulled it out of the image, and it it really looks like you just picked the leaf up out of the image. How did you do that? It's, the, it's in CS6. Attention. It's the content aware move <laughs> tool right here. Like, I'll, I'll go back to it. So, like, the leaf is in the grass uh, right here. You just circle around it, like, right here. Uh -huh. That's cool. This is, like, the only reason I'm on CS6 right now is because of this tool. Because I do photography every now and then. And sometimes uh -huh. there's a person I don't want in my uh -huh. shot, or sometimes there's a shadow. You just circle yeah. around it, pull it out of frame, and it's like it was never even there. Like, look just at like that. just, took it out. It's like... All right, yeah. That's the only real reason I use CS6. Now we'll go... We'll jump back to this speedrun. So let me close out Photoshop and... Uh, we'll go back to it. Let's now I think the speedrun starts now. over. No, it's starting back where it was left off. Let me go back to the so live chat. what's our chat. topic? Um, did you have questions, Will, that people asked? Or, uh... Um, I wasn't actually watching the chat. Oh, is Skybricks in here? Yeah, Rare was in as well. Oh, wow. Hello, Skybricks. Um, let's see here. Uh, another question I have. Apex, do you do physical art as in, like, drawing? Or do you not even want to mess with that? Um, I, I used to draw when I was, like, a kid before I did graphics, but like, I wasn't any, any good. I so, suck. Uh, I draw. I 
haven't drawn in about five years. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't like drawing. It just comes to you sometimes, or you just gotta learn it. But I mean, uh, uh, like drawing can always, like you, you it can, can it always be taught from your perspectives. I think Not really. I think drawing. The thing with drawing is you can be taught to draw, but I don't think you're really ever gonna be good at it unless you're like uh, some people are like born of like, it. Like because there's a millions of people have painted pictures of girls, right? But yet, the Mona Lisa is the most famous painting of a girl, in my opinion. Well, you know, yeah, there's many, there's many the famous. Pieces. We're not talking about kind of like that, but I mean, if kind we're of talking, like character. Uh, yeah, if we're talking about art, this one I really, really don't yeah. like. The modern art is just like, like a dustbin that's got like. Whoa. Yeah, because you should you should see the U.S. government. They bought. I mean, the U.K. government. They bought a not the well, U.K. England, but the England. They bought this painting that has one red dot. And three black strips, and they sold it for uh, thirty million dollars. Yeah, it's really weird. Mm-hmm. I don't get it. it was just... twice good. Yeah, that's uh, something I don't get about painting. Like, like the red dot represents like hope, and the black dot represents like death and stuff. It's Some hippie kind of thing. thing. Black dot, it's a red dot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, that, people yeah. have different perspectives on it, but I think that that was silly. That, that's a kind of a silly painting. I mean, people might love it, inspire it, and all that thing, because they have their own meaning to it. But, I mean, if you're going to buy it as, like, for, the ink, for like, a government kind of type thing, you know, where you don't get everyone's, you should get everyone's perspective on it. Not everyone, like, everyone that works there or does that, or who's paying in, because, you know, part of the money from the government is coming from the people. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, I didn't even know about mm-hmm. that, so here's how much I know. But. Jay, someone just posted uh, in the chat, is Apex underwater, or is he 20 feet away from his mic? Which is it? I've got 10 meters from uh, now. Oh, uh, you were close, dude. You were close. Um, <laughs> Let's see here. Another thing. Uh, Jay, do you have a job outside of graphics, or is only, or do you only do graphics? I only do graphics. I'm not a... Okay. Unfortunately. <laughs> I don't know. It's not, a job. it's not a full-time job. Well, at the moment, for me, so... I mean, unless I'm getting... Lots of working, not making much money at the moment, which is kind of bad. But I'm making enough, enough to get by. Making enough to get by. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. There's not enough for luxuries and stuff. Yeah, understandable. Uh. Well, I'm going to a, I'm going to a game convention in London next month. If anyone's going to that as well. Oh, uh, wh- people there. Which one is that? <clears throat> It's called the Europe Gamer. Well, let's go into Gamescom, but uh, the person who will be back that one. Wait, you went to Gamescom? I was going. Oh, you were going? Uh, Apparently, no, someone told me on Skype the other day that Germans weren't allowed to stream <laughs> or watch anything streamed. That doesn't seem right to me, because, like, people were streaming... Sure. What was I'm that? Sure streamed in the past. I kind of missed that. What? I'm sure Trooper Vex has done streams before. Yeah, like, I don't I don't think that it's illegal to do that, but... Um, Torp Graphics, we plan on doing it two hours, but Jay has to uh, get off in about an hour, so... It all just depends um, on topics. Um, wait, what is this? We'll be back halfway. I was in his mom, okay. Is, oh, is guess who just messaged me back here? finally? Muzza Fuzza. Is Arts in here? Uh, yeah, yeah. Creative, are you in here? Oh. Why isn't he talking? What you doing, dude? Okay. Hey, Jay. <clears throat> you should try and get Robot in the Skype call. Um, no, right? He's on Skype, yeah. Is he on Skype? Okay. okay. He's on Wow. Yeah, I'm in here. I'm just not, not talking. I'm trying to figure out what to do to my car. To your car? Yeah, yeah I got you. Look at I that. Got you. Okay, look, look, look. Lock out your lights. Ten. No, no, no. I mean, I already... I already know what I'm gonna do. I'm just trying to. I'm making a design for it. Uh, like I might put my logo on the fuel thing. That's sick. You should. Yeah. Um. That'd be pretty cool. Maybe you could. You could probably take out the Bronco, or I mean the uh, Mustang, and put the uh, put your logo. No, that's, that's expensive. That's true. I'm using it in class. You do it's a lot cheaper. Yeah. Evan Eckerd just commented. Apparently, someone oh, just said Frank that. Or. Best episode yet, even though I'm not there. 
this has only been going on for 30 minutes, and I, I uploaded a video wrong. Apparently, like I said, I made one a speed art, but I plan to have two of them go like 30 minutes long so that we have at least an hour before uh, halftime. And I guess I, I messed up and I published the seven minute one. So I might just redo that one so you guys can watch how it's going a little bit slower. That's the vulture background. Um, let's see. Good to see Jay on here. Best episode ever. That background is sweet. Thank you. Let's see. What else do I have? Um, this kid just asked, how can I build up views on my design channel? Upload amazing content and message people <laughs> like I did. I messaged Jay and I asked him if he wanted to be on the stream. And he was like, why not? And that's how he got in here. So just, just get in contact with big people and uh, do good content. That's one big thing. Um... For instance, Tense, like, if Tense never messaged me, oh, yeah. he probably would have never been with Voltra. Tense, yeah. uh, Tense messaged me out Creative, uh, his portfolio, and then we were doing a stream. We were in the Voltra stream at the time, and Tense, uh, or Creative posted it in this chat, and I was like, dude, we gotta get that kid. He's, he's gotta be in here, and... Sooner or later, I, he, I got him on Skype, I think Creative sent me his contact, and... Things just went rolling. Um, another thing, uh, Jay, I I w went on your behance like two days ago, and uh, your behance has like nothing. So I was wondering like if you had like another portfolio. Uh, hello. Uh oh. Uh oh. No. No. No! No, 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 Hello? Are you guys still on the call? Hello? 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 Am I back? I just, I just, my internet just, like, dropped. I can't see anything in Skype right now. It doesn't okay. even say I'm in a call okay. here. Yeah, I just wanted to mark this. Did this. Yeah, Evan said he's going to join in for a few minutes. So. Really? Uh, that's... I've got things to promote, so... Okay. Uh, is the stream yeah, still the going? Do you guys know? We've got the forum to promote, obviously. And we've got the graphics card to promote, because we're doing that soon. So... Yeah. Uh, is the stream still going? Yeah, it's crashing. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to quit Skype, and I'll join back up, and then just call me back, okay? Okay. I think no, it's still going. It's still going. It's still going. They can still see it. No, wait, no, that's not live. Hold on. Uh oh, it is still back on. It is still back on. It yes, it's back on. It's back on. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what just happened. It's like I was, I was like talking, and then everything just went offline. I was like, what the heck? Um, it doesn't say I'm in a call though on Skype, but I can hear you guys, so, we'll just, we'll just roll with it, and see what happens. Okay. In fact, I think I'm gonna close my Skype, and I'll just join back, and when I join back, just call me, okay? Are you sure you wanna do it? I'll do it, cause it'll take, like, two seconds. So, just one sec. I think it's fine, it's fine now, like. It's fine, dude, my Skype was doing the same thing, and now it's working. Okay. It's working. Okay. Yeah, it seems to be, everything's up. Uh, Skype's like randomly bugging out, I think. Oh, we can ask uh, Evan the same questions. That'll be. Yeah. That'll be good. Uh, Sorry about that. So, that's, um, who's Evan? Evan Eckerd is the guy who does the Prestige Emblem series on Machinima. Probably uh -huh. one of the most creative series I've seen on YouTube in a while. So Until like, now, people are starting to copy it, so... It's not cool. Okay. But I mean, let's, let's go back on to what topics... Yeah, let's well, take it what, I, what I was saying before my Skype suddenly crashed and I went offline was... Uh, I went on your portfolio, Apex, and or the, your Behance, and there was like nothing on there. And I was wondering like if you had another portfolio or like another public one. The reason is, is because I don't want to put YouTube backgrounds on that, so... Mm. I'm just putting projects I start, like, 
if I put YouTube backgrounds on, everyone's going to do it. And to be honest, loads of people are already doing it. Yeah, so, what, do you, like, what do you mainly do? What kind of backgrounds do you mainly do? I mean, see, I mainly do like. I mainly do. 2D? Oh, no, not 3D. I don't do that. Oh, okay. All 3D stuff. Now. Alright. Online. I have a similar style to him, but obviously not as not as uh, detailed. So I've, I've not been doing that as well. Okay. Uh, I'm kind of getting some robot voices here. Can you guys still hear me? Yeah. Yeah, we can hear you perfectly. Okay, that sounds good. Um, I'll be right back. Uh. Yeah. I ha I don't think I can mute my mic though because it doesn't say I'm in a call. But I'll be right back. I gotta go grab something real quick. Yeah, so put if me you guys in the, hear something, in the description. I don't need to. Uh, wait. What do you want me to put in the description? Me. My, all of us. Okay. Of uh, us pan or post your channels in here, and I'll I'll do that right when I get back. Okay. Yeah. Channel sucks. Up. I'll make fun of my channel. I think I'm not gonna go for a smoke can. You're not gonna leave? Yeah, I'm gonna we make a new channel. Wes, so. Jay. Yeah? You make it? We'll, we'll do it. We're doing what? Promote. I know, but me and Evan have got like details to discuss about this tournament thing. And okay, so. I hope uh, this is the answer. Okay, I'm Is Evan gonna join? Oh, is the video paused or something? Hold on. I'm going to check. Hello, can you guys still hear me? I'm, uh, Jana. I'm getting Jana. the... Yeah. I'm getting the robot voices. I hope I'm not getting DDoS. Do you want me to just post it? Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm just going to close Skype and then call me back, okay? I'll call the group. Okay. Signing out. Hopefully the stream's still good. Yeah, quit. Okay, there you go, guys. I had to force quit it, but something tells me the stream is still kind of messed up. Or right, I'm gonna refresh and see what happens. Uh, let me make sure it's muted. Okay, there you go. It's muted. Uh, yeah, the stream is having some issues. I don't know what's going on with it, but I gotta reopen Skype, so. Uh, credit as we deserve for graphics? Um, some people do. Like, people like Muzzafaza, he respects graphic designers as much as he respects gamers. But when you go on the terms of, like, most gamers think graphics is easy and they can do it in their sleep, when in terms, uh, they can't. So I'm gonna go and jump back to Skype call. Uh, I'm back. Another thing uh, I wanted to mention was someone posted in the comments, uh, I don't think we get like the respect, or I don't think we get as much credit as we deserve for as being graphic designers to, say, gamers. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think about that? I think we would get respect if we didn't make backgrounds as much for players. Uh, I don't know. That, that came out wrong. If you didn't make backgrounds for players, so see, we would thing get is, more a respect. Of, a lot of people say we don't get respected as graphics designers, but mm -hmm. the thing is, they're getting that respect back from the players. Yeah. So, the players don't really care to see what art is, mm -hmm. or like what we're making. I think they just want us to make uh, their channels backgrounds. look sweet. And uh, they, if okay. they get a free and invite Evan and invite. I gotta uh, invite Devin. He was in my chat for a sec. Uh, you're getting all robotty on me again. I hope this is happening. Evan oh, Eckerd. Uh, I think I just added Evan to the call. Yeah, I did. So it's calling him. <clears throat> What's okay. up, Evan? So you guys uh, yeah. yeah, it's working. Uh, I don't know what's going on with the lagginess, but everything seems to be up. I know Hazard. Hazard just left. Hazard just left. Okay. What happened? Yeah, Hazard wants to go. Uh, no, I'm back. I'm talking right now. Uh, I thought you left to go. No, man. I can't leave a bro. You guys <laughs> Okay. So, back to the topic at hand. Uh, 
So, Evan, we already talked to Jay about this stuff, and uh, you might have been watching this stream and heard it, or you might not have, but we want your opinions. Um, so, first off is, uh, how much freelancing work do you do, like, besides doing YouTube backgrounds and stuff? And I know you're professional, so... Um, so I still, I, I have a full-time job. Uh, I, I, I do work for an internet company, so that's my, my main priority. Um, but as time, as I get time from here and there, I'll, I'll take on freelance stuff. So I am a kind of a bit selective only because trying to balance, um, freelance in just like, you know, personal fun projects I like to do, which is basically YouTube right now. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's, it's a, it's a decent amount. I mean, it's a, kind of a tightrope balancing act, but, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and let's see. And so obviously you don't have another job outside of graphics and more. Um, how did you get into coding? Like, what inspired you to start coding? Wow. So coding, um, when I was in high school, I, um, I started to look into the Internet and just see what was going on. This is... This was around 95, so it was pretty bland. Yeah. <laughs> but there were um, a few designers. There's, I think the sites are still up. There's a site called uh, Design is Kinky. Mm -hmm. And a, a few other ones. Um, you know, I'm trying to remember. Joshua Davis was doing stuff. Um, Dreamless.org or PrayStation.com. And I started seeing these other artists that were learning how to code to get their portfolios online. And that's what made me want to do it. So I started to learn enough coding to figure out how to get my artwork up on the web and learn how to set up a website. Okay. So things were... <laughs> Back in the day. <laughs> put it mildly, but... Uh, yeah, it was kind of... Uh, the, the only the, the way I learned is I would go to websites that I liked. I would view the source, copy all the code, start replacing stuff, see what broke and what worked, and just that's just slowly picked up what was happening from there. Nice. That's pretty crazy. Um, another thing, and, or you already talked about that in one of your commentaries, about how you like got into drawing and how you like basically have been drawing your whole life. And um, Let's see here. Uh, Evan, do you have a, a public portfolio? Uh... Let's see, sort of. I have my own website, but that's basically portfolios filled with other web design samples. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't really put up any of my illustration stuff over the years, just the latest stuff that you'd see on my channel. Um, so so that's probably about it. And it's just my name, EvanAcker.com. Nice. And um, the graphics forms, we can talk about that since... Uh, we're in here and we got it. Uh, so what's going on on apexdzn.com with the whole graphics forums? <laughs> is Jay in here? Jay is in yeah, here. Yeah. Okay. Well, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I'm completely going blank. Um, okay, so what is the community forums for the, for the community, right? Uh, it's definitely crazy work, world of people. And... God, I'm, I'm not good at this. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, so the the forums is actually um, it's a it's a good idea. It, and uh, see, so way back when there was there was one of the sites I mentioned was called Dreamless.org, right? And that was the design yeah. forum, and that was around in '98. Um, and that is where I first saw things like Photoshop tennis. And uh, seeing a lot of artists that were just just getting going and learning, you know, getting their styles and, and figuring out. There's a lot of people that came out of that forum that are now, um, and they're they're doing some pretty pretty uh, big things. A lot of them work at, you know, one of them's creative director for Sci-Fi Network, and wow, um, guys have gone and worked for Nike and things like that. And it's it's been dead for years that there wasn't a, a community that um, 
just wanted to see each other grow, you know, artistically. There's been a lot of forums come and go that were mainly just turned into drama, you know, like everybody trying to one up each other and just kind of like YouTube. Too much competition, and you know, competition is is good. You want some of it, but also I. I this forum is good because it's, it, I can see that the, the groundwork is laid to help people um, learn how to critique artwork, you know, properly, not be like totally, you suck, you did this wrong, you know? Yeah. <laughs> um, but it's, it's, it's got that vibe to it again, which I've missed for so long that it, it's, it's people that are really trying to help each other out. Yeah, the design. More like yeah. uh, constructive criticism and like, what do you guys think of this? Oh, I think this is amazing about it. I, this is what I don't like about it. And kind of, that kind of mm, vibe, right? Uh, yeah, yep. Okay. And it's, uh, it's, it's, it's brand new, so it's able to, uh, you know, to grow the way it wants to right now. So yeah. um, it's definitely worth checking out and becoming a part of it. Yeah. And um, I saw Jay post this on Twitter. Uh, it was the... Uh, like a graphics competition or something within like the YouTube designers. Uh, it was like a picture. It was like a bracket. Yeah. Yeah. What's going on with that? Uh, okay, so what it is? It's a thirty-two person tournament, um, and there's going to be sixteen of the bigger guys like me, Evan, uh, Woodham's Shaver Melon, well, uh, Robot, I think it was, yeah, and and a, a load of people, and also sixteen of like small channels as well. Which we're going to pick from the phones. So, um, and there's going to be that like competition. There's going to be eight groups of four people. They all compete against each other, like group stages kind of thing. But then we move into like knockout stages, which will eventually find one winner. So. No, when is so uh? A lot of videos. When are when are people? Be about 70. When are people like that are on the forums like myself? Or when are we going to be able to like? compete to be able to compete. What do you mean? Like, you just said you're going to be picking people from the forums? Oh, we're going to have, like, an application thing on the forum. You'll post your portfolio and stuff. Okay. okay. I got a question about this forum. Is it going to be dedicated only to graphics, or could it be open to people who do animation? Have you been on it? Yeah, we're trying to open it to motion design as well. Yeah. Because I'd, I'd love to join the motion designing Sorry. We're yeah, we're rebranding it as well because we, we don't want to have them put graphics in the name. Um, it's going to be like a design for just in yeah. general. There's but also like Asian graphics. There's like sports Fantastic. stuff on there as well. Uh, what? Sorry. Oh, there's there's like sports forms on there as well. So it's oh, not. Yeah, there's discussion stuff as well. It's not yeah. just graphics. There's gaming, sports, uh, technology, that kind of stuff. Yeah. General discussions, TV. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it up here in Safari. So, uh, this site seems like a great site. So I think everyone should go and check it out because you know it's it's gonna turn out to be a big hit. That's what I think about this. I, I mean, link it, link it to me. I'll 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 put it in the description right now as well as all your links. Um, let's see here. Bresh is not going to be in here today. He has school. Uh, I'll link it at the top. That's cool. I get out of school. Early so uh, I'd like to ask Evan. Mm -hmm. What's your uh, like? What What do you think about the graphics community today? Like the YouTube graphics community. Um. So the the YouTube com community is uh, it's it's very much its own kind of little ball game <laughs> to put it mildly um i've i've come across people that either know about it or they don't right and and other designers it, it's kind of the last place you would think of really to look for for graphics so it's kind of cool um yeah. you know that it's happening there it it's it's pretty cool to see this stuff set to motion you know whether if it's it, it, it's a speed art or a progression or some sort of um, video uh, or yeah, yeah. It's a it's, it's an good, interesting concept. It's like a good let out for people, you know. Like mm -hmm. it's not like super. It well now it's getting competitive, but like when it started, 
and you had people like Robot and Strat start up. I don't know where they were when they started. I've never talked to them, but like I'm sure like Start the same time as I did. They 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 started where like they just wanted to upload videos for fun, like you started, Evan. Like, you know, why not? Mm -hmm. and, well, and this, and when you say upload videos for fun, I think everyone really does. I mean, there's no money to be made in uploading graphics on YouTube. That's true. So I mean, there's no you can't. It's not like the gaming community where everyone. Can be accused of money whoring, uploading <laughs> like hundreds of dollars a week. In some cases, yeah. more. Um, I mean, I think I've made less than like five hundred dollars in my whole time on YouTube. Probably. Yeah, that's like, really. I mean, I couldn't. I I, I couldn't even join YouTube if I want. Like, uh, I joined YouTube because it was fun. Like, it seemed like a, a fun community to join just to have feedback, like, people giving you feedback. Because let's say you work for companies, you're not really getting too much feedback, you know, from personal people. Mm -hmm. If you know what I'm saying. It's just, it's a great community to just have people giving you feedback and telling you what you th what they think of your work. And even if it's not as great as, like, people think, you know, you can, they give you ways to improve and tips and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And it's always great to have that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, YouTube is more, when, when I first started posting, it was specifically to figure out how it works, um, basically for when I was working on websites for commentators to see how, um, you know, what kind of process they went through to upload videos and just go through the whole thing. But it's also, I, I would never suggest getting on YouTube to try to make money off AdSense or off views, but it, it makes a very, very strong promotional tool. So if, yeah. if it's, a, it's a great way to have uh, put a new spin on the portfolio in, in it as a whole. Mm -hmm. So it, it just shows that um, even if, if what you do is design, um, you know, say you do photo manipulation all day, well, at least you have a sense of, of uh, presentation and maybe a little bit of editing and timing, you know, shown when you, when you put this stuff to, uh, in, into motion. Um, so that does help potential studios and, and agencies looking to hire to see that you're 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 well rounded, a little more well rounded than just a guy that's that's trying to, you know, Joyous. take a bunch of images and mash them together, right? So mm -hmm. it it does show a a, a broader skill set. Yeah, and I mean, uh, it's more off the traditional setting of a portfolio too, because like it's videos instead of just images. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a great way to, um, you know, people are constantly looking for, when, when I went to art school briefly, one of the big things was not only how to have a portfolio, but how to present your portfolio so it was entertaining, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And kind of, people would come up with some, some crazy ideas, like their portfolio was in a suitcase. Other people had their portfolios, uh, they, they'd have their illustrations and stuff printed on like wood and glass, and they would send these massive packages to people to try to get a job and, and you were wow. hoping that it was just it was so off the wall and stood out so so far that people would be like wow this this is cool we got to hire him just because yeah you know, they they printed everything on sheet metal you know yeah <laughs> so, you know but i got a question isn't it is it true like do, do they ever check youtube like just like a youtube community to look for some graphic designers like i mean like like, not massively looking every time, you know, but just sometimes they go and, like, check some big graphic designers. I don't think YouTube's that big yet. Well, YouTube is compared, big, but not in that sense. Well, so, yeah. So if, I mean, if they saw things. that you had a channel on a resume, they would be, that, that would seriously spark some curiosity because they would wonder, what, you're, what is... you're looking for a design job. Why, why do you have content up on YouTube? Yeah. And I'm, I'm sure they would, they would probably jump down the list and go, that would be one of the first places they check just because of, you know, unless unless you're a, a strong uh, motion designer, um, well, even then, I've seen a lot more motion designers go towards Vimeo rather than YouTube. So mm -hmm. um, you can just kind of yeah. tell. To be honest, a motion designer, yeah, there's fine for that, but um, it's not really good for graphic design. I mean, mm -hmm. YouTube is better for graphic design. I mean, I just do YouTube, like I'm a motion designer. I'm, I do 3D animations and stuff like that, you know, and. I just go on YouTube every day just to check the comments and the feedback I get on it because, you know, people don't see my animations all the time on YouTube. Like, there's not a lot of animators who go really into the depth. Like, they go to Call of Duty animations. You know, it's not something that's really, like, a lot of a lot of posts, you know, but I do, like, different animations kind of, like,
like mm-hmm. art and animations, and it's just you know, it's get, it, it, like it gets people like happy and the feed, and it gives me feedback, which makes me happy, which is always great, you know. Mm-hmm. So that's why I'm pretty much on YouTube. Well, he does more like uh, with Hazard. I saw one of his. I think it was the Rhino one where he did like a bird flying out of like a oh, castle, crazy. and then it just kept flying around, and then it goes further away and then it's this rhino with a giant castle on its back that's it was, so cool that it was, was like, really well stuff. modeled and stuff <laughs> yeah that was awesome uh evan do you ever want to like try getting into motion graphics or are you going to stick strictly to like drawing and photoshop illustrator uh so i don't know i've i i used to uh i used to kind of toy with it way back when when i when i first started doing web design um and when i first went to art school my my whole kind of goal was to actually get into like well at the the time it was blue sky um studios it was uh a a a 3d you know agency um and then this this little program called maya came around for 3d and i i just wanted to pull my hair out every time i opened it because i could not figure out how to get it to work and then for some reason, um, you know, web design just came easier. And even though I wanted to go into more illustration and fine art type stuff, there was a huge demand for web designers and developers at the time. So I kind of just fell into a role where it seemed like even if I went, even if I went to try to get a job doing illustration and then I, I, I'd get asked, um, Oh, you know, web design too. I, within a month I'd be, time doing web design for them anyways instead of doing illustration so it just kind of it was just uh, uh, the demand was there and ended up doing web design mm-hmm. which is actually good to know I mean now it's pretty much it, it's crazy how technically how much you have to grow over the over time just to uh, kind of cover all your bases right because web design it used to just be you have if you knew HTML, you could do it. Now you now you have to know HTML, CSS, JavaScript, social networks, how PSD. they work. You know, it's kind yeah. of a mess. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, that's the reason why. It was just a huge demand at the time. You know, I just happened to be in Northern California where, in the Bay Area, where it, it was it was at its peak when people were looking for designers and developers. Mm-hmm. I think that video is looping, so let me change it real quick. There we go. Okay, so, uh, yeah, um, I we we already asked you like how you got into coding. Uh, where like did you just learn pick up HTML and just started rolling with it, or did you go to like you talked about the form that you went to? Did it like have a lot of tutorials on there? Or? There was there was a, a lot of experiments. So we would uh, people would download files from each other and just try to. Uh, think of it a lot like Photoshop tennis. You would download an HTML file, a JavaScript file, something, and then you would put your spin on it and send it back to them. Um, and just kind of a collaborative learning process. Like I said before, the, the first way I learned, though, was simply going to websites, viewing the source code, and just switching stuff out, trying to figure out what worked. I mean, 90% of the time, I'd break it, but mm-hmm. in the process, I'd figure mm-hmm. out what did what yeah yeah and i'm pretty sure like back then they didn't have like applications like dreamweaver where you could debug it and try and easily find the exact spot you missed they had they dreamweaver was just coming out though it was um if (laughs) i think they have they have significantly uh made it better but in the past if you went to code within dreamweaver and just use their uh, their editor the actual HTML that it would spit out was pretty horrific. Same with um, Adobe and, and Fireworks with their slicing tools. That that yeah. was just, it, it was garbage. Um, so it was all Notepad, you know, it was Notepad, yeah, notepad. or TextPad or, or that was it. Or you would even, um, in some cases they had, I think Netscape had a an editor within the browser at one point. Um, but yeah, I mean, you, it, it was you, you spent your whole time looking at code, so it's very. Uh, actually, <laughs> makes me think of another story. Um, but yeah, it, it was all, uh, you know, code based. And then the other, the flip side is we would have 
um, you know, like Photoshop battles as well, right? So we'd we'd send layered documents back and forth and and uh, and work with that. But there wasn't really any just straightforward step process tutorials at the time it was more like hey i got this to work and i don't know how you want to check it out <laughs> <laughs> yeah so <laughs> and uh well, i mean that's what's great about everything you know you get to just play with around with it and then you're just like oh wow how did i do that and you go over it and then it just turns out that it's just amazing like what you did and that it's going to be used well it's a yeah. uh, I, I definitely that's that's my one piece of advice as uh um, after doing this is uh, whenever you come across a new piece of technology or a, a yeah. new a way of doing something um, I was never one that opened up manuals right when I, when I first got Photoshop I didn't open up any manuals I didn't read tutorials you just kind of you dig in and click around and see what happens yeah. and you're, you're inevitably inevitably going to break a lot of stuff but you do learn either different ways to do things that in my case, can sometimes make things slower, <laughs> but you do learn some some interesting styles and effects, and you can um, mess around with those. Yeah, yeah. You, you you come up with your own original content because you didn't even. It's like, like you put blinders on when you're figuring it out, right? You didn't yeah. you didn't go to somebody else and say, "How do you do this?" Because they have a method how to do it, and then you wind up doing it that way, and you kind of end up down that road, that same mm -hmm. style. So. Even um, you know any type of uh, any type of medium, paint, uh, film, anything. You know, just play around with it. Yeah, I at mean, least yeah. at least with a little bit. Even even if you know the technical side to say, you know, develop a roll of film. Still, at least play with it. See what happens. You know, yeah, I've seen people come up with. <laughs> What's that? Nothing. Going. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I was to say I've seen people come up with some really outrageous, awesome artwork because they messed something up in in the process, out. right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And if you also, there's a bunch of if you read bios about paintings and stuff, a lot of people mess up their paintings, and it turns out to be something amazing. That's what they and that's not all. Did and that's not all. I mean, like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you're gonna look up tutorials and stuff, as I said before, it's just like it already has been done. If you're gonna look up tutorials. That's why you gotta test around so you can actually be different from other people. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, uh, so, one yeah. thing was, uh, did you guys hear about that? Well, we were on the topic of paintings. Uh, did you guys hear about that guy who tried to recreate the painting of Jesus or whatever, and he made it look like a monkey? <laughs> I, Is that the, uh, the the Torin shroud? Yeah. We're trying to figure out the 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 photographic process for it. Well, no, he. Like, it was, like, a really worn-down painting of Jesus that was, like, really old. And it was, like, yeah, a famous turn. painting. And this artist that lived in the same country, he was like, well, if no one's going to fix it up, I am. And he made it look like a monkey instead of Jesus, which was the original intent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Then what happened from there? <laughs> Well, I, which, I mean... <laughs> I'll, I'll try and yeah, find I mean, a, a new story that's, about it. Was he doing it as just as more of an artistic thing, or was he trying to clean it up and it came out all wrong? He was trying to clean it up. Um, yeah, he was trying to clean up and eventually looked like Jesus, and then in the end, kind of like a tennis ball on someone's head. <laughs> uh, let's see, worst... Uh, that reminds me, I mean, there's there's been artists over the years that... that some artists they eat paint, you know, the the medium that they use, they'll eat it and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's oh, a, the yeah, that's uh it wasn't um it wasn't Picasso, it was um who was it? It was a famous painter and he used to he used to eat the Vin paint. Da Vinci. Oh what am I saying the Vinci? Am I retarded in one sec? Um it's a monkey. I think it was Van Gogh. I think Van, Van Gogh, Gogh yeah, yeah. I mean, I was the guy was at the year. Okay, so <laughs> it was it was yes, Van Gogh. It was actually a grandma. It was an 81-year-old grandma in Borgin, Borgia, Spain? Borgia, Spain. Borgia, Spain, who tried to restore a 120-year-old fresi fresico? I think, I don't know. Fresco. 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 On the wall of her local church. And made it look like huh. a monkey. That's cool. <laughs> it's, it's very undetailed. Is this video on the stream live or is it a video? Because it looks like fast. Uh, it's mm -hmm. I pre-recorded it and it was originally like an hour and I put.
put it to 30 minutes. Oh, okay, good, because I was thinking, shit, you're fast to Photoshop, you must know. You must know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, um, I, I'm still playing around with Photoshop, I haven't learned everything yet, that's my goal. I don't even speak my videos up. Really? <laughs> you just you just naturally that fast. Oh, yo, guys, guys, we have a pro here. We got a badass. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> what a, what about? This is what we are on, so yeah, yeah. Evan, do you use or have you used Cinema 4D in like a, like a serious way? Like you wanted to accomplish a goal and you use Cinema 4D to accommodate that. I've I've. Uh... I've used 3D programs in the past. Cinema 4D I've never used. I've, I've installed it and opened it and completely went brain damaged. And, 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 and I, think you should, I think you should give <laughs> Houdini a try. There's a new program called Houdini that I use for my animations. It's very nice. I heard about ah. Houdini. Like, I've, like, people at my school, because we have, like... They um, updated a lot, though. That's what's great about it. Like, at my school, we have, like, a video broadcasting thing, and they do, like, intros and stuff, and there's one kid in there that's, like, that's what he does. And that's what they use. Like the school bought Houdini. Well, it's not all about Houdini. Like you need the other programs, but well, he it's has... good for particles and you know just background layers and you know like just animating most stuff. But it's it's a very good program. You should try it. Not that yeah. crazy. We have like Houdini, 3ds Max, and I think there might get Cinema 4D. I don't know. I don't know the full story. Well, they should try Xara 3D. Great program. Okay. Do they still make Lightwave? Yeah. All right. But that's. I, that's... Well, you kind of do it in mental right now. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah, you know, I, that's that's what I learned on was Lightwave, briefly. Yeah. I actually, uh, I went to uh, an animation kind of course show or festival or something, and some of the uh, two of the guys that were speaking there were the original guys that did the animation for the, the light cycles in the first Tron, and. Oh, yeah. I was talking to them, and, and one guy asked a question. He said, "Well, wh what did it, what did it look like while you're working on it? You know, what what programs did you use to do it?" And at the time, we were, you know, Maya was just coming out. We were learning Lightwave and 3D Studio, but was just around. And and I remember the guy saying, "He says, what programs? It was all code. We didn't see anything till the movie came out." <laughs> <laughs> That's hard. So it's kind of amazing. I was like, huh? I was like it was all mathematics. It'd be like it'd be like looking at a um, a black screen. It's just like looking at a black screen, just type in yeah, yeah, it would be like plotting points in Illustrator, all right? So you give x y coordinates. You tell it z index. You, it, it's 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 still so complicated to me, even though it's like almost forty years old, thirty years no, old. No, of, of course it should be complicated. I mean, you gotta learn it, but still, it's it's so, it's also complicated to many people that are professional these days. Mm -hmm. They they had that was an amazing job what they did. So, well, it, yeah, a lot of people see that as design and creative work. When when I look at those guys and I think, man, they're more engineers. They're they're you know they're yeah. engineering. You know, today, today they wouldn't be uh, anima animators anymore. They'd be writing, I don't know what, they'd be writing the software for it. In, in fact, they probably are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can see that. Yeah, Um. one thing I wanted to ask you, and Jay, uh, how do you guys stay motivated for your designs? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, that forum's working out. My, that forms is, yeah. It's my irrational uploading. Uh, you know, I'd like to point out that not many people, like, no, like, a lot of people don't even, like, kind of look towards the motivation when they do, like, graphic designing or animation. You know what mm. I'm saying? It's, it's sometimes it's just, like, it just, you just want to do it because you like it and you don't care really about those motivational things, whatever you want to call mm. with motivation. Someone yeah, just... Art, inspiration. Yeah, I used to, I used to look at a lot of, you know, a lot of magazines, a lot of other illustrators work, um... You know, just just random things like when looking at UI stuff and coming up with with designs for you know, let's say like mobile apps and stuff. You spend a lot of time looking at like buttons in real life, and yeah, you know, I was looking at I was looking at the buttons inside an elevator one day because they looked pretty cool. I was like, oh, how do I recreate you know some of that stuff? And uh, looking at uh, 
for stuff like that, like 70s and late 60s equipment, like band equipment is pretty cool, you know, old speaker systems and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, might have given me an idea. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Have you ever seen the 70s uh, broad hardware stuff that they used to come out with? Like, if you look at it, like, most of Apple's new products are based off that whole drone product. Oh, yeah. Like, What's uh, funny is is it's the, the, the actual... You know, the touch screen stuff, you know, it's all brand new, but the, the apps themselves look like old school, you know, equipment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is kind of cool. You know, buttons still look like buttons, right? They're still, yeah. you know, bezeled and have buttons. Dab- buttons. And, Which yeah. is always great. So even if you're like a total, yeah, one day there'll be, you know, jets that are just built out of touch screen displays, but all the buttons will still look like buttons. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Crazy. Buttons for life. Yeah. <laughs> a COD player said that Evan is the Woody's gamer tag of the GFX community. I agree. <laughs> I am a little bit younger than him, luckily, but not by much. <laughs> yeah. Um, Evan, how much uh, do you work in typography? A lot. A lot. So, and, and that changes drastically depending on what you're working on, too. So, you know, bouncing back and forth from something that's more image heavy to stuff that needs to work with web code you know, it, it, it's a it, it's kind of like changing your mindset when going from Photoshop to Illustrator a little bit um, so there's a, I spend a lot of time just looking at fonts and trying to figure out um, you know what would use and what would be better in situations and, and you know what's more readable what what the what is the end you know, reading size this is supposed to be, and, and yeah, you spend a, a lot of time just researching fonts, going through lists. Yeah. I mean, I've been trying to work on typography, because that's one thing I think about, like, when you see all, like, the flary backgrounds and stuff, the text is always, like, either really hard to read, or it, like, mm-hmm. doesn't match, or it's too big, or it's too small, you know. Yeah. And that's one thing yeah. I, like, don't like about it um and like in your personal opinions uh like how much attention to detail do you think people are putting into their work on youtube compared to sites like you know dribble and behance deviant I really don't get the hype about dribble, so. what was that i don't get the hype about dribble so and i've got an account but um and i've got like i've been drafted but, like, I don't get why it's so popular. I mean, if you want to showcase your work, I honestly think Behance is a much more... I know, I know Behance, the reputation's been ruined by lots of kids posting on that, but, I mean, mm-hmm. who cares? It's not making but a home page. I got, thing... I got a question. Can you post videos on Behance? Yeah, you can. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've been trying to figure out how to post it. I can get it. I was like, yeah, I want to post some videos on there. You I even like... messaged one of the staff there. Just add videos to your... Yeah. But I honestly think they hands with the thing you make. Oh, what was it called? Like in bed, in bed, bed, something. Picking up front. It's not just not like in depth and just a three hundred by four hundred image, like you have on Dribble. I don't think many people understand until they get Dribble that all you get to upload is a yeah, three hundred by four hundred. I gotta image. go. That's, that's I gotta go. So I'll see you guys later. All right. Okay. All right. So bye bye. Um, all right. So what were you saying? I, I, I still. I don't get the hype about it. It's just, I think the main reason it's so popular is because it's exclusive. If it was yeah. free for everyone to join, people would prefer uh, Behance. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, that's one thing I think why, like you said, how uh, it's more exclusive. And that's one thing, like, that's why there's not so many, like, YouTube designers or, like you said, kids on Dribble, And, like, everything looks cleaner, you know? Yeah, but in fairness, so people always complain that all the kids on Behance, but. I mean, if you're looking on the homepage for inspiration, you don't see any other people there. I mean, you only you only find all these like kids posting YouTube backgrounds if you look for them. Yeah. And if you look, that's your own problem. Yeah. Okay, yeah that, go on, on that. Out. What were you gonna say, Evan? Um, I. Well, going back to the the attention to detail um, question, I they. I do see a fair amount where it's it, people do seem to uh, really look into you know what they're doing and, and try to get every last bit out of a design. 
Um, but it, it, it depends. It, it, it's kind of the same. You're going to find people that do, you know, pay a lot of attention to detail. They do a lot of research up front or they do, there's a lot in the thought process behind a, a design. Um, but you're going to find those same people on sites like Gribble. You know, it's, it's, you're going to, you're going to find people that put a lot of attention to detail and you're going to find people that just kind of like, you know, they could have thought it through a little bit further. Um, it really doesn't matter. In, in my opinion, it doesn't matter what platform it's on. I've, I've seen, you know, the, both worlds kind of there. So, um, what would, what would you say if you, if you have to pick, like, what would you, if, in that order, what would you prefer to use Dribble, Behance, or Deviant app? Well, I don't use uh, Deviant. I tried I it, anyway, no. and I didn't really like it as much. Um, and then I got into Behance, and I haven't uploaded much on there, but, I have uploaded a lot, and then Dribble. I'm not even drafted, so I, I haven't been able to work around that. Well, what, what's, uh, this sounds like a different question. What are we asking about these sites? Like, which one, which one you prefer just to use in general, or and which one would be, do you like think is a better idea, and what do you think would be more effective, that kind of thing? Um, so I think out of all of them, um, I would tend to go more towards Behance because it's it's already a website that has uh, a lot of tools built in for portfolios. It's mm -hmm. it's the site in general is a very nice, clean design, it's really um, and it's it's not an exclusive thing, right? It's it's a uh, deviant art seems. Um, I mean, it's built much more around illustration. You know, it's built much more around kind of more Wrong. fine art type stuff, um, and so it's got it's kind of a different genre. Oh, it's both of them. The dribble is, uh, I'll honestly say I'm not much of a fan. I don't like the notion of being invite only, mm -hmm. especially for something that is trying to, well, unless they don't care if they're, if they're trying to help designers grow, um, then it's more like I got in, you didn't type thing. And sites like that just turn me off in general. Um, mm -hmm. But I do like how Behance is, is, designed and it even though it's not exclusive it does look like it's got that that high end kind of sign have to you it. Have you ever posted anything on that on where on bands uh yeah i got a couple things it's it's yeah when, when, you, when you post something it's like for the, and i think part of the project thing i manage it i mean mm -hmm. you really like it is really it's a really good system like, you can yeah. just like drag it up and you can change all the background colors, tile images and stuff, mm -hmm. embed videos, text. It's, I, just, I see it as like, it should be bigger than it is. I mean, it's it's a much better system than Dribbble. Mm -hmm. there is, so. Yeah, I, I honestly, I don't use Dribbble, so I don't know what their, uh, <laughs> what their UI looks like for that type of stuff. Um, I assume there, there isn't much if you're just posting one image. I mean, it's actually it's Dribbble. Nice. Like, some pages of Dribbble are pretty much based on bands. Mm. <laughs> you might actually well, that, that's why I just bypass everything and build my own site. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, there is, a, I think there's another company called Carbon Made or something. I've seen that domain yeah. floating around. I think they're a portfolio thing. Yeah, it's, I think it's run by Davey now. Carbon yeah. Made is? Yeah, I think so. Hmm. Um, yeah, I mean, if you're looking for, uh, uh, it's hard to say. I mean, if, if you're looking for type of clients you know i would think um it, it really depends on what you're wanting to show you know uh, and also when people get to your portfolio on one of these sites are they only on your portfolio or are they going to get shown like other stuff which is always kind of a you know you don't want to if you're trying say you're trying to get a job and you're you're you're, you're wanting to show a link to portfolio and you don't have your own site there's some of these sites that when your portfolio comes up, maybe down the right hand side it says related designers or other artwork or something that will just take them to someone else, you know, so you don't want something like that appearing either. You just you want it to be specifically tailored to you. That's the good thing with um with Bayhouse, it's got Pro Site, which kinda makes it that. it's like you have templates. And it'll make it'll it'll, it'll make a site on your domain or on their own domain. Mm -hmm. Kind of like similar to Similar to Carbon Made, 
But when you click on the projects, it shows like the Behance project thing. But mm-hmm. in the cool. page, about all the related stuff, it's just in, like, I try and find some examples now. <laughs> um, one thing is, uh, what other Adobe products do you guys use besides like Photoshop? Because uh, the only ones I really used was Dreamweaver, Lightroom, and Photoshop, and a little bit of After Effects. I mean, it's, what about like Premiere Pro, or have you guys used any of those? Same people edit in After Effects. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wanna... yeah, continue. I was, I was going to say, I, I, I've, I've got a friend that does the same thing, and I don't know how he does it. It's like magic, being able to edit in After Effects. <laughs> yeah. Um, Evan, someone, uh, Torp Graphics, he posted his site, and he wanted your opinion. I just posted it in the Skype call. This looks like really... Okay. The... I'll post it in the Skype call as well. I'll post it in the chat. Mm-hmm. That's what I found. Uh, that's what I um, uh, Evan, have you ever been on a site like 99designs? No, I haven't. Is that... It's, it's like a freelancing site where you, like, you sign up and then it's kind of like a competition based where like a company will say, we want this done. And then there's blind and open ones. And then you just you can post as many times as you want of like the product they want. They like brief you, this is what we want, this is our site, this is our logo. You can download like the stuff they want you to use in it. And then yeah, I've seen things on there as high as like uh sixteen or uh sixteen hundred. Uh, I've seen a few three thousand dollar ones as well. I mean for freelancing What is it they do? I'm looking at the at the ninety nine designs now. They like when you register, like uh, there's like a like a dashboard you can kind of see, and like you can go to like contests, and then there's like we want a website design, or we need a new logo, or we need like a water bottle design, or they need something graphics wise, and there's like how much they're they're willing to give. Like the minimum is a hundred dollars, so they could be like we want a logo for a hundred dollars, and you design them a logo, you submit it to the contest, and then. If you win, they pay you the hundred dollars, and then you can like transfer it to PayPal, and then uh, go on from there. Well, I, I, I think I've seen something like this before. I, it looks vaguely familiar. Things like this are if you if you have the extra time mm-hmm. and you want to do it, then why not? But depending on um, how many people are in there? Like for me, I wouldn't really ever go on and do this because when I'm when I'm set down to do a design, um, especially for a logo, you know, I spend a lot of time researching and asking the client their needs and, and what they're trying to um, illustrate in the logo or the, the the tone or basically what they're trying to sell. Everything, right? And you end up spending a lot of time on just even a a couple different logo sketches. Um, Things like this, if you're spending all that time and then you don't end up, you know, say you end up with second place, you know, you just wasted a a bunch of time and and for me, a bunch of brain cells, (laughs) you know. So if uh, it really depends on, um, and I'm looking at the front page, this guy guy only paid $400 for this logo and – I th- I'm pretty sure that site makes him a decent amount of money, and I there's no way I would have sold that logo for that cheap to that guy. So really? It, it really depends on if if you have the time or not. Um, it, it just here's here's just a, a, a backstory. Do you know AT and T did their rebranding mm-hmm. a few years back? Um, they paid over at. It was a hair over a million dollars to the agency that did that logo. Really? And when that agency came back to show um, uh, AT&T the logo, how many variations of that logo do you think they brought back? Uh, well, 10, 20. They brought back two. Two? two. two? Yeah. Only two. And with those logos was a stack of paperwork. 
and that paperwork was all documentation and research on why they're only showing those two logos. So all of the thought process behind those logos, all of the demographic um, analytics, all the all the everything they took into consideration, the color palettes, the the angle of things that were in the design, every little bit and piece about that design was documented in that stack of papers, and that's what AT and T paid for. They 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 care about the logo, but they care more that to make sure that that logo is going to express exactly what they want. And so they spent you know, hours and hours and hours just thinking about it before they even sat down to do the actual thumbnails of the logo and then, and then get into, does it work at all different sizes? Does it work in different colors? Does it work in different situations? Um, mm. You know, there's, there's a ton of time just put behind just thinking about it, making sure, because you come up with an awesome looking logo, a logo that just, it, it looks great. But does it speak to who their potential customer base is going to be? Does it? Does it? You know? Does it make sense? Um, mm-hmm. You know, there, there's. That's it, something to think about for like all designers, like YouTube and not YouTube. Yeah. Yep. Like, That's why it's so expensive. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. Because you don't realize how much production work or pre-production work goes into something, even before, like even before you sit down into Photoshop, unless you're just you're, you're you're in a flow and you, you already have something cooking and you know you can get it working. I've got mountains of sketchbooks full of stuff, right? And 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 uh, notepads just full of you know random things to try to figure out wireframes and layouts and compositions. And even before I even think about colors and stuff, you know, it's because uh, you you want to make sure if you're going to put all that time into a piece of artwork um, that you've got all your bases covered in 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 it's gonna mm-hmm. it's gonna do what the client wants. So yeah, you're spending you know you're spending a lot of money just on on that stuff up front. Yeah, and if that's how you think of a logo, Evan, I I can't even begin to think about how you work on a background. Well, that that's that's what I try to get across, and that's what I'm hoping um, I can kind of show. And this is just from my experience through other jobs right it's Mm. it's uh i used to do ads for a a health food company and they did a lot of like um protein foods and stuff and it was it was uh you basically you paid like maxim magazine one hundred and fifty thousand dollars for for a full page ad that would run for one month you know you're gonna make every little penny count (laughs) in that ad so you uh you know, you go. You, you have to really think about you know your font sizes and content and how much spacing you got. And, you know, just everything. So, it's uh, it's just kind of something I picked up along along the way. And it, you learn as you go. I mean, I've I've had, I've definitely had designs that look cool, but um, you know, starting off, but the customer was like, yeah, but I was hoping to get more phone calls out of it. You know, more sales out of it. And it's like it looks cool, yeah, but for some reason they're not calling. And it's like, well, well, why? You, know, you got to figure out what 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 made them want to do that so yeah um there's a uh i don't know i'm sorry to cut you off there you want to finish no no that's just the way i am my my brain shuts off halfway through (laughs) (laughs) yeah jay knows this (laughs) um i was i was just on a google news uh just looking at some of the sites and GoDaddy, because we were on the thing of uh, oh, sites. The sites went down. Go GoDaddy went down, and all yeah. like the sites that they had go down. Like that sucks. Like we see hundreds of thousands, millions of websites gone down. Yeah. How long went down for? Um, I'm looking at the article right now, and uh, it started about 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific time. And I'm trying to find like an end time. It doesn't say. Uh, but apparently, Anum Ops Legion tweeted GoDaddy was the target. So, hackers, you know. What can you do? Welcome to the internet. Uh, They're going to get sued big time. Well, it's I don't I think they can find them. On the website, so. Oh, yeah. GoDaddy's going to get hit and they got no one to target that's gonna be a big loss um 
And we talked about this a little bit earlier, but I don't think Evan was in the call. Um, Evan, have you tried uh, CS6, or are you like solely set on CS4 for Photoshop? No, I just uh, I just did the the subscription package thing through Adobe. So pay a monthly and get to use anything and everything that they have. So I've been using CS6 for I don't know what's it been maybe a month? No, three weeks. Oh my god! How much? Oh, all right. Yeah. Uh, so if you already have a, a serial number that you're upgrading from, it's thirty a month. Um, otherwise, it's fifty, which is still kind of steep, but. They, I mean, you use you can use whatever you have like a this little dashboard widget. You can say download everything or download you know. For me, I, I went straight in and downloaded Photoshop, Illustrator, and After Effects. Mm -hmm. But I, you can get into you know Dreamweaver, uh, Flash, Premiere, anything you want, um, and what just do you download. Do it. What's that? What do you do in After Effects that I'm unaware of? So I'll, I'll do like just. Simple stuff. Um, uh, let's see. What was the last one I used it for? Oh, the uh, uh, the Skull Pros versus GI Joes image I did for uh, Machinima. At the end of that video, there's just a simple starburst rot rotation where I just animated it at last screen, and so I okay. used After Effects for that. But it's never. I'm not like. I don't ever get into really heavy stuff in there. It's just real basic. You know, maybe. Um, to try to animate one part of a an illustration or something. I'm just trying to edit my videos in ScreenFlow. Yeah, that's what I use. The one thing I don't like about ScreenFlow is like the like how it squishes it. Like I don't know if you have this problem, Jay, but every time I render a video, it always seems smushed in 720p. <laughs> like, and I I've, I've been trying to fix it, but like with after with uh, ScreenFlow, like the default screen size is 1280 by 800, or at least it is for me, because I'm on a 13-inch Mac, but, like... Uh, if, if you've... Yeah, because I'll have to change it, won't it? Yeah. It's not, that's not 16.9, is it? That's, like... No. It's a little over, yeah. It's funny why. Yeah, my monitor's uh, 2560 by 1440, so... It's 16 by 9. Oh. It doesn't... It's the same resolution as the YouTube video. Yeah, see, so yeah. I gotta figure out... Uh, if there's a way, like, you can change it. I've been through, like, the screen flow preferences. You have, to, you have to, like, kind of warp the video. Yeah, like, I, um... Well, just don't, don't warp it, just zoom in. Well, just scale. Like, I don't do that. Like, like the basic screen flow thing is, like, 1280 by 800. Like, that fits the screen flow document window, like, perfectly. Oh, like, like, I can go on the stream real quick and show you. Let me... Grab it'll be 1280 by 720. And it'll, well, it'll be 1280 by 800. Let me pull up. But when you when you render it out, it'll be it'll be changing it down to a uh, seven twenty. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, well so you can set the, those, those yeah. pixels vertically. Yeah, you can you can set it to. Uh, like, you want to your you want to set your standard resolution on screen for seven twenty. Uh, ten, ten, what's it called? Sure. See, I'm not right sure you can. I don't, I'm not because I don't have the same problem because my monitor is uh, sixteen by nine, but. Uh, yeah. It must be like a certain. Well, um, I'm I pulled it up on the sh uh, stream so you can like see screen flow. Like even if I go to like the preferences for it, uh, it doesn't say like anywhere where so, you can set the standard. So Epic GFX timeline behind that V. No, that's there the, it it's the Epic GFX on paintbrushes. But hey, I made those. You did? Yeah. Yeah, I made those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are pretty good. What what happened between you? What happened between you and Epic GFX time? That channel is like. It's like dead and now. And me and Jacob, we just decided we didn't want to do the videos. And well, well, he wasn't feeling up to do the videos anymore. He wanted to pursue other things. That's what hasn't ended. And then, and then he sold it on, and it's being passed around. I got hold of it again, and then we. He, he said before I got hold of it, they wanted to do it again. I got hold of the channel, mm -hmm. and then he changed his mind. So I sold it on. Which I probably shouldn't have done. I wouldn't have done it, but I got a really good offer, so I mean, I couldn't really say no. Yeah. I bought an iPad with the money I got from it. It's just silly. <laughs> wow. Yeah. They. It, who bought it again? Did Leo buy like, it again? I know, I know, I know. Moles come into, come into mind. It's like, do I want an iPad or do I just want to close the channel? Oh, yeah. iPad, yeah. So. Okay. Yeah, um, 
people who are running it now seem to be doing alright, so hopefully they don't close it. The guy yeah. said if it happens again, he's just going to give it to me. So. Yeah, I um, I think I have the guy who owns it at it on Skype. I don't know about this Skype, but my other Skype I do. From this, because so many people have, so many people have uh, owned the channel, it's not secure at all. So, uh, I... Wow. Uh, uh, rated Designs. Do you guys remember who that is? Or, I don't... You guys might know who he is. Yeah, I know who He commented. Uh, yeah, I saw him. I, uh, personally, and I don't want to, like, go all, like, fanboy outish, but this is, like, the first time I've talked to, like, larger people on YouTube that I actually, like, respect. You know? Who <laughs> did you speak to that you don't respect? <laughs> um, there, there are some people that, like... Oh, go on, name them. Come on. I, I don't want to name them. I can tell uh, you guys afterwards, but it would... Me, tell us afterwards. It would, it would be talk. disrespectful if I said it on the stream. But, fair, um, fair enough. Yeah. Like, yeah. no. Yeah, but, you'll tell me afterwards it was Evan working. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't... Originally, when people were telling me about your, uh custom prestige emblem thing, I had no idea, and it was like, when you were already like, six prestiges in, on Machinima, and then when they linked me, I was like, I was like, we have like, a person you can draw on here, because, I think you were like, one of the, besides Graffiti, you were someone that actually like, were, you were one of the first that actually drew, and then put it into Photoshop, and did all the coloration, and uh, all the like, burn tool, dodge tool, and put that all in Photoshop. I think you were like... I was thinking about doing that, but what I would do is I'd just draw something completely irrelevant, like a rainbow, some hills, <laughs> <laughs> and then just move on to a background speed up. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, everybody's, everybody's got their, their own thing, right? There's like uh, the 3D program stuff. I can't do that anymore. I'm, 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 I'm amazed when I see some of the stuff coming out that, um, you know, in the community that where, where it's 3D or just a different take on just designs in general. You know, I get a kick out of seeing all these other styles and and uh, just yeah. different ideas and things. So I, I'm I'm the same way. You mean if, if I'm, I'm I'm glad people are digging what I do, but at the same time, I, I really get a kick out of seeing you know the everyone else and, and their styles and things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can do three D and stuff, but now it's just got to the point where I don't want to do it in like backgrounds. Mm -hmm. I mean. And that's one thing, like, like Trooper FX and all, like, the motion graphics people, like, that is just, like, I wish I could do motion graphics. I think it takes too much time, though. Like, oh, yeah, I've got a computer, though, I mean, just... Yeah, the rendering, because, uh, I, when I was rendering, like, I tried rendering, like, an intro that wasn't very good, but I at least tried it. Uh, rendering time, before I upgraded my RAM, it was, like, four hours for, like... Oh, that's not even long. Yeah. I, I rented something recently and it took 12 hours. Wow. Was it like, yeah. was that motion or was it an image? Yeah, yeah, motion. I'll find it now. Uh -huh. it, was pretty, it was pretty bad because I mean, I'm not, I'm not great, but <laughs> it was a test. Yeah. And I didn't do it great. <laughs> so I'm just going to make this up off of what I said it to you. Yeah. It, it wasn't going to be made for anything. It was terrible. Didn't use the right textures. Uh, what else can I throw in? And, um,. Uh, that's all I've got. There you go. <laughs> have you seen, Jay, have you seen the stuff that, that John had been working on? Brand Flakes? The, uh, yeah. the light, what's it called? Light Tracer? Or... Light Ray. No. Oh, um, Ray light Tracer. Ray? Is that what it is? It's a Ray Tracer, I think. Oh, no, V Ray. The stuff that looks like, it, it looks, it looks like a photograph. <laughs> it's, it's insane how no, detailed everything is. Yeah. And I haven't seen Brand Flakes. The the only really speeder that I've seen from him is the White Boy Seventh Street background speeder. Oh, he's thing. a he's a very talented individual. He's he's one of the one of the guys that early on I was like, wow, he's, this kid has a sense for design. Yeah, uh, Evan, were you were you around when we had the like old YouTube layout? Briefly, yeah. Briefly, just briefly. I mean, that's that's. Uh, uh, that went away a few months after I started. It, it was. Yeah. I've been like, out for you because it killed off all the other people doing like graffiti backgrounds. Yeah, like that was really cool. You could like you could customize almost everything about the background. Mhm. Mm and that was like the best part about it. Like you could edit what colors you wanted for the text. You could edit 
basically everything, and now it's everything's like preset. I'm back. Hello. Oh, it's so much fun. Oh, it's it's Hazard. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I can't. I can't say. You know, at first it was because um, what was this thing called? Something Panda or uh, Cosmic Panda? I was Cosmic Panda. Yeah. yeah, it was. Um, at first, it was kind of alarming, you know, that it was it was going to change to something more templated like this. Um, mm -hmm. But that was more specifically because we didn't know what all they were going to change. You know, it was like we didn't even know if that upper banner was going to come back for a branded channel. So. Um, I, I do miss all of the customizing that was in the previous one, but still at the same time, it it, it it's made it much less clunky and it looks cleaner. I think. Mm -hmm. So. Do you guys remember that video, the um, the twin towers model that I made last year tomorrow? Yes, I remember that one. It was yeah. the nine eleven. Uh... And more, it, yeah, I was going to donate all the profits to um to that charity I posted at the beginning, mm -hmm. and then Yash didn't give me any of the money. Wow. Are you serious? Yeah, which they know they didn't give me any back payments at all. No. Wow. I was, I, you, I was with Yash three months. Did you uh? Did you claim it? Claim it? What? No, I, I said I said I wanted them to pay me, but they didn't give it. Wow. I think we gotta go do something. Uh, well, we'll, that's we'll do that's something one of the it. reasons why I left Yash too, was because <laughs> I was fucked by like big snacks and chaos. Who's so. the wait? Who's the who's the person who's supposed to pay you by Yash? Yeah, yeah. Uh, chaos. Okay. Chaos. Okay, I'll talk to him. <laughs> Um, one thing is... It might have been, though, it might have been because I didn't make over $100, which apparently you have to do with Yash, or you did that. Yeah. But, but it's, it's, it's still no reason, because if this is going towards, like, a donation, or something like that, this should, like, even if it's going towards you, they have yeah, to give you the money. Send, them, send the donation and send me some Yeah, food. donations, it's, it's a valid point. You have to, they have to give you the money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Valid. So you know, I don't know. You gotta, you gotta work this thing out, or you. Well, you that's not, that's not not for for this. That is one of the reasons why I left uh, Yaush too, because I was only with Yaush like uh, I want to say four, but it might have been three months. Um, and like I uploaded a ton, and I got like twenty one thousand views while I was partnered with them, or something like that. And I know that doesn't seem a lot to you guys, but um. It was only like it was only like five dollars payout when they say like like twenty one thousand views even if for three months I got like a CPM that's like only a dollar CPM or something like even less than that. Oh, they make it. It was like when I was there, it was like sixty sixty cents. It was ridiculous. Yeah, like it was, and then I got the offer from Vulture, and I and that's why I took it. But I, I haven't really heard much about Vulture to be honest. Vulture is new. We're only like two, almost three months old. I think it was, be... um, yeah, you know who, you know who Jay Cass is? Hmm. The guy who, this, uh, the, do you know Vexon? Oh, yeah, I know Vexon. So he, he made Vexon, and after mm -hmm. it went kind of the way he didn't want it to go, so he made uh, Ultra. He left, he oh. gave it to Dave and Brandon, uh, and, because I was a part of Ultra for a little while, too, but then I left for Yaush, and then I ended up leaving Yaush for Ultra again. But, uh, I left Yash for Machinima and uh, yeah. I left nothing for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Not true. Like, you are in Vulture. Yeah. Look at Heaven in the space of six months. Is already getting invited to Machinima parties. What was that like, by the way? Did you go? No, that was my son's birthday, so I I didn't go. Ah, oh, fair enough. But like, what what was it? It was like what was it called? Like Machinimates or something? Yeah, it was a. Uh, um, they rented out a space in L.A. Um, and just had kind of like a a meet and greet, you know, hang out type thing for for a night. So it would been it would been fun to go to. Mm -hmm. That's pretty fun. But I mean, you know, I'm old though, so fa family comes <laughs> first. How, how old yeah. are you, by the way? Just to, you don't have to answer if you don't want to. Uh, <laughs> I'm 34. Oh, that's that. You. Well, you're old, but you're not that, like, it's not <laughs> such a big deal. <laughs> He's just, like, laughing behind his screen. You're, you're, you're old, but... You're old, but not that old, you know? He's in his prime right now. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's going to be like a laugh that suddenly turns into a cry. 
<laughs> oh, well, you know, <laughs> yeah, he's going to turn into a cry soon. I can imagine that. I mean, um, you, you meet you meet the requirements for the Asian machinima. For the for the what? For machinima. Oh, for yeah, the age demographic. What would what do you reckon the chances of anyone in this community getting a job with machinima? Um, Probably me. Um, <laughs> yeah, I would think. I, I would think it, it's what they need, right? I mean, it's. I mean, to be honest, what are their designers like? They're not. They're not really good, are they? They're not like. We, no, like, designers don't get much recognition. Let's just prove that. Let's just leave that. I, I, I wouldn't work for Machinima. I mean, <laughs> yeah, Evan, yeah, I guess. Oh, Evan sorry, uploads I'll, to I'll Evan I'll, uploads to Machinima Respawn, and where like some of the directors from Machinima Respawn, like White Boy and stuff, when they used to upload, they were getting like eight k subs around daily. You know, when they were uploading to Machinima Respawn, and Evan uploads to Machinima Respawn quite often, and he's still at twenty k. Or are you? Yeah. At, Oh, it's a whole different. It, it's a whole different demographic. Yeah. They got very, it, let's just leave. Machinima got way more inactive since, mm -hmm. like, when you white boy used to uh, like upload and stuff. You know. Oh, it's because yeah, it's because the channel people don't watch the channel as much. Um, yeah. What is kind of sad is uh, that Yao Yao should only just they're not even at hundred k yet, are they? Mm, I think they're like at seventy or eighty. So uh, Yao, sh I think Yao should have over. Is it one of their directors? And one of the directors they signed like halfway through or like near the beginning mm -hmm. is at four hundred k, and the network's only at seventy. Yeah. Makes not right there. What is it? Um, that's Troll Art, the Troll Art CEO guy. Uh, what's his name? Minnesota Burns. That's the guy you're talking about. Yep. Yeah. Well, that guy well, does I mean, make some uh, funny videos. Yeah, this is this is natural, right? This happens. There's there's frequency in in, in how popular something is for mm -hmm. a certain amount of time, and and Machinima is going on to like Machinima Prime and more high end stuff as well. They so they're, like, they're like, the, uh, the, yeah. The, so the the team is actually taking on you know greater projects, and it's something that inevitably other other. I'm not saying that the channels have, have lost any, um, uh, what's the word? Uh, I can't think of the word where, you know, people still aren't maintaining respawn yeah. or anything. It's still, they're, they're always constantly looking for new stuff. So, um, and that happens in the, in the lifespan of any, anybody doing anything. Right. So I'm sure, I'm sure maybe someone like white boy just got tired of it. Right. He, he wants to move on to different stuff and, the like the yeah, whole you industry. Take that much. Yeah, I mean the whole industry. You, you 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 just get tired of stuff after time, right? It's it's for me when I was working at at different jobs, I would get at about the the year and a half two year mark, I was ready to go. You know, it was just like this that we're, we're we've been doing the same thing for for long enough, and it, and and we have been pushing you know what we've been doing, but it's just not growing at a pace where I want it to go. And mm -hmm. I'm just it, it's it's. It's burnout is basically what it is, right? So people get burned out. People want to change. They want to do something else, and, and sometimes that means moving to a different channel. It means moving off YouTube, doing a whole different type of design work, doing a whole different type of content. I mean, it's just kind of – it's just the nature of the beast. Everything's going to change, and, and people adapt with it. But at the same time, as, as these things come up, more people get into it, right? So now everything is even more saturated than it was, right? So – You've got more directors. You've got a, a, a larger variety of content. You, you've got a, a, a lot more designers and stuff. So it's just you know it's just kind of the cycle. It, it's going to go. And there's going to be there's going to be another next big thing. You know there's going to be another next big channel. It could be another oh. Machinima channel. It could be something brand new. You know it's just going to. You know, there's there's so many little channels now. So many little partnering channels that YouTube awesome. is giving, like allowing them. It's just. I mean, it's gonna be pretty hard to start up a good, a good team, like a good channel again. That's what I'm kind of trying to get there because you, do you notice all the little, like, like little, like here? Let me give an example. No, I don't, I don't really have an example, but you know all the little partnering things, partnering networks that are out there. Yeah, yeah, but you don't have to be partnered to have an awesome channel. You know, it's like, yeah, I know. look at, look at Freddie Wong. He's got no banner on his page. That's true. He used he to. He could probably care less, and he's, he's making a killing on youtube and he's oh yeah he's doing something he enjoys <laughs> so <laughs> i mean that's all it really boils down to <laughs> yeah. um, Wait, do they, were they, did they like have jobs doing this before because 
they seem to have all this equipment well, from the start. Freddie, Freddie Wong and Brandon, they went to school together. Uh, video effects school or production school. And and then, like, when he does all his behind-the-scenes stuff, it's, most of their guns are just, like, airsoft guns they buy off Walmart or some a lot of their more expensive guns they buy online. No, but he's talking about, like, the camera work, like, oh. all the camera and, like... Oh, the expensive like, cameras. They've got, like, studios. They That's got studio, true. yeah. They got where they do everything. I wonder... They got, I wonder, they got special people just come and help them. I wonder if they have, um... Like, one of their old videos. I wonder if we could see, like, one of their, like, first uploads to YouTube and see how their quality changed, you know? Just like hobos with full of beards. Yeah. But they're editing stuff. That's that's amazing. So you know them? Um, you know Epic Mealtime? Yeah. Yeah, the cameraman is a graphic artist, and uh, Harley, the bearded guy, is the editor. Really? Yeah, he edits. He says, all, he says when he's editing, because uh, he does all the editing for it. I'm not sure what he taught in school. Wasn't he like a teacher before that? Yeah, I saw that PKA. I'm sure oh my god, that would be the greatest teacher ever. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that was a long time ago, PKA. That was good two years ago. Yeah, I went back and I kind of watched some of the old uh, PKAs. I was watching an epic, gym, uh, epic, meal time, epic Meal Time the other day and uh, I tweeted about it and I noticed, you know, FPS Russia, the professional Russian shirt with the two red stripes. It's Wait. like two red lines, and then in the middle it says professional Russian. Yeah, I just signed that shit. Yeah, really? I saw, yeah, I saw it on Epic Mail Times. So. Uh, Skybricks just posted this channel link, and, because uh, we were on the topic of, like, you know, people, like, uh, what was it? Uh, when, when did he post it? Uh, I can check. I just saw it in the chat. Uh. Oh, oh, it's still, yeah, it's still posting. I see, in live comments on the YouTube live events menu, you can view comments before they actually go up, so you can, like, have a chance to, like, read them and remove them if necessary. So it should come up in, like, a second. But, uh... Oh. Uh, hello, look at my channel, thanks, from Black Have you guys channel. tested the live beta thing yet? Jay and, uh, Evan? The YouTube live streaming. What? What is it? Uh, huh? Jay said he doesn't have it. He has doesn't have it yet. I haven't. It's mission must give me the option. They gave me a contract for it. I haven't handed it in, so mm. I haven't got a stream in yet. Well, um, Voltra, we just got it as beta, so I'm one of the beta testers because, like, I run the designs channel for them. Um, and I think only like ten people have it in Voltra, uh, minus the hubs. Um, and once I say like you have to test it out first, because like my first stream I did. There's a, you have to edit the settings uh, if you use like cam twist like I do to re like record my screen you have to edit the settings or it's all scrunched up it, like because default what is like um last I checked it was a five upload but I can check oh, I want a zero point three so it's gonna be horrendous <laughs> oh my god this intro is taking so long to make so long to uh, render right now speaking of like intros and stuff. What do you guys prefer, like, uh, 3D or 2D when it comes to, like, an intro to, like, a, a branding intro? Branding um, intro that was... Oh, go ahead. I've always liked the style of, um, of, like, American sports programs, like, say, for instance, Sunday Night Football. Like, the animations on that massive logo they have. That kind of thing. That's oh. my favorite style of 3D. And as well as Tron, which is obviously my intro. Yeah. But, like, I prefer that, but if... If it's gonna be like tacky three D, then not for two D. I I believe yeah two, but two D is for kind of profe more professional I think. Like like well, for brand, if you're gonna do a branding for a company, you you most likely they most likely want it in two D. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. There's like, for instance, some companies have a mix. Like uh, for instance, yeah, if they want an animation, it's all that three D spinning like green line thing and then it spins into the 2D logo yeah but they still yeah I guess but I mean most of it is like most of the companies like anime like just animations but I mean when it comes to interest I've seen a bunch of companies who just like literally ask only 2D they they take in well there are some like I've seen commercials like on TV and stuff oh, go ahead Jay 
Yeah, Pixar, like that animation company, Pixar. Mm -hmm. They've got like a 3D logo. Well, the text 2D, and then they've got a 3D lamp. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have a lamp that looks almost identical to the Pixar. <laughs> yeah, so do I. Like, cool. it is pretty cool. I got a lamp made out of a door. Got a lava lamp. Yeah, oh. I have a door lamp. Like, a, a, a literally, the whole door is the lamp. Evan Eckhart does need a new intro. You're right. I think you do. <laughs> <laughs> Who made the intro, by the way? Or did you make it? Let me make Wait, what? it. Like, I want to make the intro, Evan. Evan, like, right. did you make your intro? Yeah. Or uh, did someone else make it? Who made it? Uh, so it was Fawn HD Gaming. Um, have you got the approach me, and I just sent him my logo, and he he came up with that that uh, that intro. Nice. You like it? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it fits I, what what I want to do. I like it quick. I like to get to the point, and it's minimal, which is what my design sense is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'd like to ask both of you: Do you guys get a lot of like love and spam every day? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, well, like, like it doesn't stop. Well, like together, oh, like this. loving spam, or <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like you can get hate too. Of course, do you guys get a lot of hate too? I mean, I don't know what to tell you guys. Do you guys, <laughs> do you guys overall just get a lot of spam? Uh, if you treat if you treat your audience badly, you probably would get hate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Example. <laughs> no I'm kidding. Go if ahead. If you like follow me on Twitter and stuff, you know I speak to people a lot, and I mean, if people ask me questions. There's a good chance I'll answer them. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I don't get a lot of hate now. Oh, yeah. Dude, it's just trolls. Well, yeah. I think you're starting to get some trolls, Jay, because you don't upload that much anymore. Oh, uh, that's, yeah, but I mean, that's not like. That's just me. I don't, I yeah. don't want to upload qu uh, videos that aren't of a decent quality. Yeah, you know, I understand. I'm uploading it for the sake of uploading. It's going to take me so long to start doing uh, new projects now. I've got a few uh, dual speed arts coming up with Jack Wardens this week. I was going to ask you, Evan, if you wanted to do one as well. Yeah, I've like, got time. Jack's another really good designer. He's one of those guys that, that you can tell he's putting a lot of thought before he starts a design. It, I, mean, it, it's really, I mean, I don't put any thought into designs, so... <laughs> <laughs> this is raw talent. <laughs> you guys I, it's experimental, really. Do you guys mind taking a look at one of my uh, animations one day? Yeah, I mean, well, it would really be nice to just get your perspective on it. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, send send them away. Of course. All right, it's in the chat. If you guys. Okay. Yeah. Did you send them your uh, Rhino one? Yeah, I'll, I got a bunch of just sent <laughs> the Rhino one right now. But I mean, I've there's a bunch. Huh? I've been told about this. I'm looking um. forward. <laughs> Did you make this in 3D? Yeah. I'll, I'll put far. the uh, link oh, okay. in the thing. This is crazy. I use a lot of programs that people don't really use on YouTube. It's, they don't really recognize of, like, you know, XR 3D. If you, if you, like, the only thing I would suggest is, like, color correction and stuff, but, like, the 3D works amazing. Thanks, man. I got a bunch. Like, if you, is there like you see the side where it says wizard or something like that? So there's two. That I'm not sure what they are. They're like uh, I've got the word. What, what are they called? Gargoyles. Wizards or like you could just see my channel. I don't know. No, I'm not talking about those them. are gargoyles. Yeah. Wait. How long did it take you to make this? If I may ask. Uh, some can take up to three months. Some like some can like the models that I make take like a week to two. But I mean, pretty much, like a lot of the animations I make take three months, and that's that's why I also like like if people ask me to do it for free, I don't really no. suggest doing yeah. it for free for most yeah. people. Yeah. Oh, you like that idea? That concept, I love that concept. It took me, it took me like a day to think about it. And if you guys uh, refresh the stream, uh, there's the link to the video we're talking about. That's crazy. Thanks, man. I don't know. I just like to do different things because, like, a lot of people are kind of giving me like, why aren't you? Why are you in the community if you're not gonna do Call of Duty? Why are you in Darth the Clan if you're not gonna do Call of Duty? But I've noticed that Darth 
it has a bunch of members who just like doing art, photo manipulation, graphic designing. They don't really work for the team too much. I mean, they do if mm -hmm. they get often requests from the background makers. But I mean, well, that's one thing. What do you, you know guys what think? What do you guys think about like GFX teams and like gaming clan teams? Uh, not a big fan, especially ones that tag themselves to gaming clans. Uh, I just feel like, I mean, people always complain about them getting taken, getting taken advantage of by gamers. So why would you join a gaming team? You know, I kind of told a couple of people like that were like following that new strike thing that just gets views for people. Gamers aren't joining graphics teams to be their gamers, so why would you be on the other way around? That's true. Yeah, I mean, but you know, if you like that, if you like that kind of thing, you know. But there's a yeah, I kind of agree with you. There's a lot of people who are joining gaming teams because they think that it will help them. Like I joined this team because I like feedback. That's the only thing I'm here on YouTube. Not really for anything more than that because. I already do get paid for my stuff. Like I get a lot of money for what I do. My uh, because I work for for advertisements and stuff like that. Sometimes. What would you feel about um, remodeling? You know my intro. Would you be able to like remodel that in your own style? Uh, I haven't seen your intro, but yeah, I can take a look. I I personally love Apex's in intro. He's had that since the big or since I started watching him. I don't it's know been about a year and a half. Yeah. Have you I'll ever seen my other... intro? Let me find it. Um, uh, one thing, like, when I think of a, like, design team or a graphics team, I think of multiple people working on one project, and mm -hmm. the way, like, the graphics community, like, kind of shaped, you know, a design team is where you guys just upload your own content that you do by yourself onto a channel. It's like a community channel, but, you know, it's harder to get in, you know? Uh, let's yeah, see. yeah. Right. Oh my god, so many people uploaded my intro. <laughs> hmm. Is this yeah, the guy that made that's... your intro? Drew Boyax? Dare and Joy and Aim and Bam are restarting Apex. And they've used my intro. Really? Yeah, yeah. there's this one thing. Not, Apex DZN, or the Apex DZN, or something, where it's like this Apex team. Uh, that someone sent me the link to, because uh, when I was promoting this stream, I was like, Apex is going to be on it. And uh, one of the guys posted a link to like Apex DZN or something like that, and it's like a team. And he's like, you mean yeah, it's kind of like the stolen name from your website. That's one thing. Oh no, but to be honest, there was a channel before my website that had the name, which yeah. I found out. So there is, I mean, there is a channel out there. Apex DZN was made before my site was. So yeah, oh, it's not Apex so DZN. You can't really do much uh, about that. But I mean, oh, Apex Predator intro entry. All right. I want to be sweet, so um, they have made it got too, a lot of recognition. I don't care how they got partnership. That guy works at ABC. Where did well, you uh, come up with the name Apex, or did you just think like you know top? It means, Apex. means top. It means the top of. Um, oh yeah, like it means top, it, like the top. It, yeah, my 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 original my channel name actually Apex, but it came from like documentaries about like alligators and shit. Mm -hmm. But um, it was obviously you can kind of tell it was supposed to be a gaming channel originally. And I, a lot of people were a lot of people were telling like how you apparently fanboyed uh, uh, optic. <laughs> it was kind of like what? Uh, yeah, I was doing Tomahawk one time, just so like I mean that's a bit different. How did you did uh, when you did do stuff for optic? Uh, did they optic. contact you or did you contact them? Uh, Sure. Hold on. Uh, Paul contacted me. Who? Paul. Uh, Paul. Paul? I mean, okay. Yeah. Would recommend working for him. To be honest, uh, would recommend working with Optic at all. Yeah. Optic. Optic, in my opinion, is kind of dying, though. You know, like they were at one point like the largest clan. Uh, yeah. But since like trick shotting and stuff and phase came out, really, they just like died because oh, the background is amazing. Uh, which one on Optic or Phase? No, uh, Apex Predator's background. I mean, oh, the intro, my bad intro. Yeah. Amazing. That was the one I made. Well, I, I did the motion, someone did the edit. Uh, but, what do, you, what do you want me to fix about it? I just, I want it, I want the same kind of intro, but I want it, like, I want it re remade, you know what I mean? I'm not really an intro maker, but I mean, I can try. Oh yeah, this one. I'm the... not an intro maker. Like I'm mean, maybe modeling the environment, and someone else can edit it. <laughs> oh okay, I'll I'll try to do that. Yeah. By the way, it's just it's a very nice intro, but 
What do you think? What do you think about the new Epic GFX? I don't think it's gonna go far. We were we already talked about that, and um, yeah, oh, you guys were talk- I, I don't know. You were you were it's gone, kinda, I think, during it, but uh, that guy is kind of the leader is kind of getting on my nerves. Rumble's the other time. Okay. They're just they're just Call of Duty clans now that owns it. You know, do you yeah. sell it in the start? How did they get that? Do you sell it? Jacob sold it. So when we had finished with it. Jay sold it to, I think, the current people, or he sold it to Patrick or someone for... No, there's, there's been about 20 different owners since we, we first had it. Yeah. Self. Um, but Apex bought an iPad with the money he got from the channel. Yeah, someone get, someone gave it to me, and then I sold it, because what we were going to relaunch up at GFX time. It was on the beginning of one of my speed arts, we had like a promo for doing relaunching it, okay. and then Jacob decided he didn't want to do it, which is fair enough. He's doing... Um, he's pursuing his career in music he's doing dubstep and stuff now that's pretty good um but like I think so I just didn't not do it. I didn't want to turn into a team I didn't want to run a team so I just sold it on because I had a good offer I didn't really want to have well, there was, I think was you should a, make a team I don't I'm not really big on teams to be honest I think the best way people can get known is by focusing on their own channel and like, I mean I, as you can see I post quality and I focus on my own channel but not really Many people watch my stuff. Not that I'm here to get known. It's just to mm-hmm. kind of get my right, feet back. Yeah. Well, pass it around to the designers. I mean, I mean, I, I honestly... Because I'm... Oh, okay, yeah. Can't be working with uh, gamers. I wouldn't be as big as I was. Yeah. You've got to work with, like, them kind of people as well. The gamers? Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah, you have to. <laughs> I don't know because I've like they, there was one time where one of the Darth members was like, "If you don't make me this uh, 3D model for a Call of Duty character, why are you in this clan?" Which really got me pissed off, you know. But I mean, like I really don't want to get into that. I'm gonna say right now that no one will ever pass straps on YouTube. No one will ever get 60k again in this community, mainly because the main no offense to the guy, but the main reason he has that many subs is because of the optic sub box. Which is the same with Marco with the Syndicate Subbox, me to me to some extent as well on my last channel. Yeah. Uh, well, how many subscribers did your last channel have? Sixteen. Sixteen. Now the current one has fifteen. Fifteen thousand. Oh. Nice. This one has fifteen thousand. Well, Ape- Apex. Yeah. What was your like initial reaction when you got hacked? Well, you got hacked. Yeah, his original yeah, channel. Yeah, I found out we did it. Yeah, and I found, found out we did it. So uh, who did it? Stop. Uh, head of the channel, Team Noble. Yeah. Yeah, the guy who ran that did it. Really? Miller? No, not the not the design team. Oh, the owner. Uh, oh uh, no, you mean you're either? Their ego now. No, Marco from Team Noble. Marco. Not Marco Arts. Don't, yeah. Don't, yeah. Don't. Not Marco Arts. Not Marco Arts. Not Marco Arts. No, but don't bring this up because I'm honestly done with it. Yeah. And he didn't, it wasn't a much of a hack in. He just uploaded videos for me to read my password. So. He just like wasn't guessed? Like, not a hacker. Well, it's not a hacker, he just deleted he just my channel. Stopped. He just, yeah. it was like, uh, I'm gonna guess this, and it happened to be it. Wow. And would you talk to him after? Yeah, and that's it. What was the reaction? I, uh, I said I was sleeping, I was gonna do it all, woke up on it, and I was hacked. Well, deleted. So, like, I'm not, I'm not really bothered anymore because, to be honest, that channel was never going to get a partnership out of the strike. So, but, I mean, uh, it's not all about partnership. It's about your fans, you know. They just, oh, yeah, course, they like, just disappeared, right? I wanted to become part of Machinima. That was the main goal. Not to get the money, just to be part of the Machinima community. Oh, you really want to get into Machinima, eh? Yeah, and, I mean, with a strike, the channel was never going to get partnered. I was planning on moving over to this channel anyway. Really? Uh, I don't really want partners, a partnership at all. I have 15,990 subscribers, so 10 more to 16k. I have 15,000 slow progress. Everyone we'll go to subscribe now. Yeah. No, says, Torp Graphics, Marco sorry. Arts, do not hack him. Don't start rumors now. What? Torp Graphics posted like 35 seconds ago in the uh, chat. Marco Arts hacked you. No, 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 not Mark Marco Arts. Marco Arts is a great guy, no. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what just my channel. Like, when you can just click my name in the box. 
Oh no, Jacob is. Um, have you ever if you ever seen the original FHFX star? The guy that did, did uh, the voice, the voiceover work was Jacob, and he also does a few speed up as well. He's quite good. Yeah, that video was awesome. The one's like the one, the one with all the tigers on that like hill. Yeah, and you like text or something, and there's like tigers on it and shit. Yeah, he he did that one. Speed up for that. Wait, are you guys are you guys in any teams? Are you in any team right now? No, I've never been in any team. Apart from uh, Fair Arts. I was in Fair Arts last year. What about what do you think about Create I I like I really like Create Creative Station. Oh that's not a team as much, it's more It's not a team. Like you send your stuff and they upload that's what I like the concept about it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well Alexander could what's the name? Alexander Kajalko. Okay. Evan has to leave. Evan does. Uh, that's fine. Okay, um, I'm I called Rated by the way. Uh, What's up, Rated? Hey, Rated. Hello. Uh, Evan Ecker just he just posted that he has to leave. So. Bye, All right. Evan. Have a good one, Evan. All right. Take it easy, guys. Take it easy. Uh, so yeah, Jay. I mean, what what were we talking about? Yes. Uh, oh, Creative Station, let's right? Let's get Skybricks in there as well. Yeah, yeah Skybricks just yeah. hit 4K, so yeah. we can we can congratulate him on his successes. Okay. I guess. Um. Here, G, let me set you as master. So well, I'm gonna tweet the link out. So. What? I'm gonna tweet the link out. Sweet. We've been going longer than Jay said he was gonna stay for. Of course. Yes. Jay said he was gonna stay for an hour, and it's been two hours and eight minutes. <laughs> so. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I might take your advice, Jay. I might, I, I might leave all teams just dedicate my time on my channel. I might even yeah, what, what Jay was saying about the uh, like uh, the team bullshit. I mean, like I, I'm not really somebody to talk. I mean, like you know, cause I'm in Obey. I mean, it's like you know, mm -hmm. you, you do get a lot from it. Well, the thing you get from it is you really just get exposure over Xbox. I'm not getting any subscribers over YouTube. And that's it. I mean, you, you're not. I mean, do I like the exposure? Yeah. But, I mean, do I do I need to be on that team? No. Not at all. I just do it just because, you know, I'm, I'm a big sniper myself. So, like, you know, I like... And know, it's also fun to have some teammates, you know, just helping. Yeah, that was the main reason Strass was an optic. I mean, not many people know because they only play Xbox or But he's really good. I mean, like, quick scoping on shit. Strass was an optic? I kind of had the thing with... Yeah. That was the main reason he was like, I'm not trying to... Like, you know, with, uh, you know, I, I'm in every Obey team dodge. I hit a quad my last <laughs> clip. Like, you know, I, I can play, but it's like, you know, I, do I like, you yeah, know, no. My, my, yeah. my thing is the graphic design, so I love to. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. same for, like, I play Xbox and stuff, but, you know, animations is what I stick to. But, I mean, just, I don't know, I might I might take your advice. I'm, I might leave almost every team. I'm not sure. Well, I don't know, um... What was I about to say? I kind of just got sidetracked, but animation-wise, I wanna, I wanna make, I was kind of thinking about making a website for kind of okay. dedicate. Like, sorry to you, Jay, but I, I'd like to make a website just to like dedicate to animations. Oh, this this form is gonna be, we're gonna mix yeah. up. So I can't wait for like. Yeah, I'll wait for the, the form starts getting big. I made sure I, well. I made sure uh, I got yeah, on the form and secured my name. What at, what rated? Do you guys know how Dribble has like an? Is there like a site like Dribble that's like like animation based and like no 3D modeling based? Oh yeah, I'm sure there was. I'm sure there's one out there. Oh uh, yeah, well there is 3D modeling on Dribble though, isn't there? Uh, I'm sure. I have like three, there's definitely 3D modeling on Behance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got it. Uh, Behance. Behance. Yeah, I know for a fact. I just got my. Behance. Behance. Have you seen my uh, 3D rated? You have seen it, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I posted just, uh, it in the description, so, like, all the people watching right now, they got it. Alright. I, I, I saw this live stream from Jeffy and Apex when I come subscribe to them, so, like, they were putting comments in my box and filling up from all that stuff. I was like, what's going on? That comes up on the feed. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. Was, yours was all over the place. All over the place. Oh, dear. Yeah, it was all over the place. <laughs> well, good thing I haven't said anything offensive. 
it's the same thing with Twitter. Like, every time you like or comment on a video, it's all over the place. Well, that's why I don't link my Twitter to my YouTube, because it would just be, like, 20,000 tweets of stuff I don't want on there. Oh, yeah, I only have, the, um, I only have likes and favorites uh, and uploads on that. Skybricks wants to uh, be invited. He said, if you guys want to invite me... Uh, I, I completely forgot. <laughs> I, the and then went I uh, set you to master, I think, so you can add people. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll look what I can do with your intro. I'm not sure, but I'll try my best. Okay, you added him. I <laughs> can call him now. Uh, Screenshot's not Alright. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, go subscribe. I'm so close. Eight subs to go. Congrats oh. on uh, 4K. Thanks, man. Yeah. <sighs> Yo, you mind linking the live stream in this chat again? Uh, the live stream okay. is right there. All right. Yeah, ready. Got it. Thanks, man. Cause I just linked it in my Twitter, so there should be a few people that. I love, I love rated. I, <laughs> I love rated by the court design. Okay. So I, I'm trying. I, I, I usually live stream on my channel, but I would to call it. Um, I'm waiting for Yao to send me that live stream. Oh, like rated. It took me when I mess when I was with Yao. When I messaged Chaos, he told me it'd be like two weeks. It took like two months before I got it. Like, I, dude, I don't even know. I'm, I'm sitting here, and I've been, I've been waiting for. I mean, I, it, the email went out the 26th or the 26th of June. Yeah. And I've been waiting all. I mean, it's the 10th of September, so. It, it take it took forever. Um, uh, Vulture since it's in beta, like all the beta people, they got it within like two days of being sent off. Yeah. So I got it yeah, pretty quick. I but. want it because it'd be amazing. Talk to my fans. Well, I used to yeah. do it, but the Google Hangouts that's just way too laggy. Yeah. Too much. I think I have it. Yeah, actually, I do have your video that shows live events or whatever. That's, that's it. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's I like it. youtube.com slash my underscore live underscore events, or it's in your video manager. Yeah, yeah I have it. So like I'm going to check. My video manager still says. Yeah, um, just a playlist under my You would have you would have got an email from either YouTube or full screen that said it's like a great day to be a part of your network. Uh, they're applying live stream to your channel. Uh, it'll take a few more days to finalize everything. Yeah, I didn't get shit. It's just there. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you have it, Skybricks? Yeah, I've had it for like two weeks now. Yeah, Wirecast. Like, as much crap as I've heard about it, and as much as people, like, use XSplit and stuff, Wirecast works fine for me. Like, oh, yeah. XSplit, besides... The, XSplit's only good if you get the full version, though. Yeah. Because you have better sound quality and everything. Mm -hmm. That's one reason, like, I'm thinking about upgrading, but it's, like, $500 to upgrade. No, XSplit? Oh, XSplit, not XSplit. I was talking about Wirecast. Yeah, the premium XSplit's membership for XSplit is 60 bucks for two years. Really? Yeah. I might use that, then. Yeah. Cause it gives you like all the source codes and stuff in your event manager. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. It's put like um, Xbox the number one streaming like software right now. They're they're ahead of the market. Yeah. It's. I mean, I have a Mac and I had to use. I used to have to do like uh, Flash Media Encoder and all that. It's just oh yeah. I hated when I tried live streaming on Twitch TV. Yeah. I can never get it to work the way I wanted it to. And if you did too good of a quality, then you lag the whole. It's just. And then your your internet's yeah. like, and no one else in your house can use internet, or your stream will go like so laggy. Yeah, my my brother started like watching Netflix or something like that, and the internet would just like crap out. It's done. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, Netflix just... took over. Yeah. Let's see here. Uh. So, um, we got some new people in here, so we can ask some of the, uh, questions we asked in the beginning to Apex and Evan. Uh, this one goes to Raiden, because he, he was, you started as a gamer, right? Uh, I was a competitive player for GB, yeah. Yeah. Um, what got you into doing graphics on YouTube? I was 
good to see them back out here. But I was just, a, uh, I don't know, I just, I was down. playing game battles a lot, and everyone wanted logos. And logos kind of were like, you know, some of those you either pay for it or you make it yourself and you half ass it, and it's just, you know, something that wasn't too great. Mm-hmm. And I just got, I mean, I didn't want to pay for them. So I started making them, and then I just started really enjoying it. This was about four years ago. And then I really started to get, like, I guess, competitive with it. Um, and the guy that looked at too, which, of course, he's in here now with Apex Predator, Strats, and all those guys. But um, I don't know. I just, I, two years ago, I started YouTube, and it's just now I'm here today. It's just, you know? Yeah. Um, uh, what about you, Skybricks? Um. My design stuff happened a long time ago as well, probably around four or five years ago. My mom actually took a uh, web design course, mm-hmm. and she was, well, my family's always been really, like, artistic and stuff, and she started using Photoshop, and one night I kind of just sat down and started watching her, and I just really was interested in, like, what she was doing. She was doing all these, uh, like, layouts and stuff for web pages and whatnot, and I just sat down one day when she wasn't home on the, uh, on the computer and I just started messing around with things. And then I got into forum signatures, just doing stuff for forums. You know, we do all those little with anime characters or whatever. Uh, I did that for probably two or three years. And I can, always, yeah, I can honestly say that is probably one of like the best things you could start with is doing those small things, signatures, because... It doesn't over. It's not overwhelming to do all like this. This space. You have so much space when you're doing like a large photo manipulation and filling up this huge area. Uh, it's just so much easier to do. And I learned a lot of uh, fundamentals for actual design. Just doing these little signatures, you know, lighting, composition, and just like everything. That's why I say people uh, try not to jump into bigger things right away. You gotta try and learn the basics first because. It's it's pretty hard to uh, to learn everything right off the bat. Yeah, but that's that's kind of where I just started off. And then to YouTube, it was literally I got on Xbox. Uh, I met a couple people that were editors for a sniping team, and they were like, "Yo, man, you're really good at this stuff. You should try doing some like speed arts." And that's when I started up my first channel, Skybricks HT. Uh, that was over a year or two ago. And I think one of my first videos was just me making a simple background, and it got well received, I guess, for back then. Uh, it was pretty terrible, though, now that I look back on it. Uh, but I just kind of branched out from there and started doing my own thing. I messed around with intros, did intros for a little bit, and then I got into the Cinema 40 modeling, and uh, probably around. A f- Around a year ago, I started doing interface design. I've always been a fan of it, and it got really well received on my channel. And that's kind of what I've been doing ever since. Because not a lot of people do it, and not a lot of people can do it. Yeah, I was gonna say it's like your interface is like that's one of the reasons I started watching you. Uh, Hello. Like, because uh, people when people thought of interface like a few months ago, three, four, or five months ago, it was more of like. Those grungy those, type styles that people downloaded or got from someone. Yeah, those layer styles and then, like panels and everything. And then when you did like the... Yeah, um, that, was, the that was pretty much me. Oh, oh my god. The grungy style, man, that, that went in and out fast. I mean, fast. Yeah, I never really liked that style. Kind of like the, the panels thing that uh, like Triangle used a lot. That sort of... I don't yeah, know, it was around a lot. Those, that, that layer style, oh, I just never liked that. It, I, Sherpa, you know, as well. I, did, I, didn't, I like Sherpa, but I didn't, didn't like that background. No, yeah, no, the, the way Sherpa did the right way. He, he had actually, he, when he did his, the, the way he did his stuff, he actually thought about it. He wasn't just making like a random shape and then filling it with a layer style, then another random shape on top of it. He would actually layer his properly and it would actually look like proper metal panels that were, you know, molded the way everybody else did them was they would just use their pen tool, make a weird shape, and then they'd put some sort of Twitter logo in the middle of it and be like, hey, it's an interface design. And you're like, no, that's the interface. That's you just copying someone's layer styles. Mm-hmm. Like, interface oh, no, design. I don't think, oh, no, man. It's not easy. 
it, yeah. there's so many different there's fantasy interface interface is usually like ui designs and stuff like that you'll see a lot of them where it's it's an interface it's something you can interact with that's, do you that's want to do a, i'm gonna ask everyone what the comes love now do you want to do a dual speed up i want to do like a mission of a kind of oh you can't shit um <laughs> you won't be able to do a mission of all of you or we can just do like graphics uh, like for instance like something like dribble or bayard but like a phone version of it Because I wanted to do something that based around like an app. Yeah. And do it based. So. Be a good idea. I'm yeah. doing a dash Xbox dashboard uh, concept with wooden. Um, it's me and Evan can something, but I'll show you. Mm -hmm. Uh, Apex, someone yep. posted in the comments a while ago, um, Cosmic VFX. He said, What do you see yourself doing in the future? I answered it in the comments. Uh, hey. Graphic design is a job. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes. what do you think? Rated, uh, like, a year from now, do you think you'll still be making YouTube videos? Um, I hope. <laughs> I mean, I, I, go to, I go to school for, I mean, for graphic design, man, that's what I'm going for, I mean. Yeah. It, I, it, it, there's no cost to me, it's, it's, it's yeah. really, I mean, honestly, the classes that I go for, man, it, it, I know it all. I mean, the thing that really is what's going to be, it, it, it's the tough part of it is, um, is really getting into your actual major, but yeah, I mean, in the future is, I would love to still make videos, I mean, look at Evan Ecker, how old is Evan Ecker? I mean, he's like, he's 34. Right, my point is, he, he does it, but he's a professional, that's my point. Yeah. He does it, make money on the side, and, I mean, why not? But, yeah. People take it a little bit too seriously. That's when I find a lot of the arguments come around, and a lot of people get pissed off, and like, oh, YouTube, uh, why are you doing YouTube, and, all this stuff, and it's something, and a lot, a lot of people put too much uh, pressure on themselves for uploads, yeah. like, they're like, oh, I, I gotta put out a video this week. I should enjoy I, what you do. I, that's very true that you say that, though, Jeff. I mean, like, yeah. me, I'm, I'm, I always think, like, you know, I gotta give my content, I gotta give people, you know, a tutorial and a speed art, at least, or during the week. You know, one, I mean, I, I think about my fans a little too much, even though I get the yeah. thing, but, you know, I do need to have that, uh, I guess that built up an uh, amount of, uh, I don't know, just that, that sense of, you know, I'm going to upload when I feel like I need to upload, not yeah. when my fans need, you know, something. And, I mean, some of it's good and some of it's not, but, you know. The way I whatever. think of it is, it's, it's more of a quality over quantity thing for me. I'd rather put out something that's amazing, that people were like, oh, wow, that's really cool. Uh, not just something like, oh, rather I'm putting out a speed like, art you know, this week, here you go, guys, yeah. enjoy it. But when, mm -hmm. when people want to watch a video from me, they're going to be like, Oh, cool! It's another video from you know Skybricks. Yeah, I watch this awesome video or something like that. Like, I, so usually I take a lot of time. Like I haven't put out a video in like a month just because I've been wanting to create something that's really cool, and that's what I've been working on. Should be uploading every week. <laughs> I can think. I YouTube. I think the way it every everybody looks at YouTube is like how good of a designer is by their background, which I don't feel. Yeah, I mean, it, it shouldn't be like that. I mean, listen. Jay, you were like literally like the background piece. When you came down to like, when you came down to like, you know, doing your actual concept, you know, uh, website designs, um, you know, cover remake, like you were all very, very good at that. My point is that everybody looked at people as like, you know, you go to random people's channels and you're like, oh, dude, that's a cool background. You must be a really good designer. Well, it's a template. I mean, there's not much you can do with it. Like, people need to start, you know, so, you know, stop judging people off of just a background. I want to see, you know, I want to see the whole community just change. It's, start, it's you know, your content. That's the whole thing. Yeah. YouTube. That's what, it's, yeah. It's your video I mean, content. Yeah. And isn't that kind of behind uh, Rob's whole unite the on. community and isn't that what right, like, right. is pushing? Exactly. That's the same thing. If everybody needs to, you know, we, you know, we need to all just come together and, you know, kind of, you know. They push. need to expand on their knowledge because they're all using yeah. your kind of, bat, like, they kind of copy off the people or on the top. That's well, the kind of thing. And Someone gets the background up there. There's nothing wrong with it. Well, that's, that's one thing, strange. like, I try less to do is, like, one thing I don't want to do is get known as, like, copying someone's style or copying someone's background. And that's why I try, like, not to, like, look at other people's backgrounds. And I don't watch many speed arts anymore except ones that get submitted. Like, right. like, if you look at my background right now, I don't think I've seen one on YouTube like this. And it's not, like, amazing. I kind of did it. I wanted to have, like, a video for the stream in the background, which I ran out of videos because it went too long. But, um, 
like, and so I just made it, and I kind of liked it in the end, and so I threw up, I don't think I did throw up this, uh, the video of me making this, but, like, do you guys like the background, or do you think I yeah. should put up the old uh, one that I have? I'm going to be honest, I completely hate it, but, uh, nice. as we speak, I'm actually going to go to the channel and check I, it out, I don't know, I, I, I really, I'm, I'm just like, I'm not really looking yeah. at anybody. Oh, yeah, that's really nice. Yeah. yeah. The thing um, is that. I really don't like backgrounds. <laughs> if I, I like the kind of like, like the clean nature ones, like where it just shows the back, like nature, like mountains or like just, just like overall pa ponds or something. Like that. You know, I, I really don't like backgrounds. I I'll link it. <laughs> Banner to show is it, off. Is it art by viewer? No, it's youtube.com slash called I, I was looking at, I was looking at Skybricks' website. Mm -hmm. Skybricks, you have a website? No. Oh yeah, I, I love this background. Thank you. I don't have a website. Uh, my, my YouTube you. page? Uh, do you consider YouTube as part of your job, or do you do no. it for fun and uh, want to see people who think of your work? Because that want, that want, I do. That's what I do. Uh, is upload one video every week or every two weeks, but usually high quality. Um, I do YouTube for fun. I don't really upload as much as I would like to, and that's why I'm trying to get more into live streams, is so I have content for people to watch, rather than um, like you know having videos uh, just for you know quality sake and having an upload. Right. Question: I'm gonna link something in the chat. Look at this, guys. Oh, tell me what you guys think of this. Okay. I actually very like this. This is one of them. Um, it's, it's nothing it's much. Yeah, it's nothing it's much to clean, it. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's great. That's what I think. Very about. simple, but it, it, it speaks. Uh, that's what I like about that background. Uh, really? I think a lot of people get too into that niche of I have to put my name in the center with 3D text and links on the side. Like that's yeah. every single background I see nowadays is is well, that, just a. That's the thing, though, is that. That's how you have to, like, when you work with players, they work, when you, all right, how do I explain? <laughs> when you talk to gamers, when you talk to people, now I'm not talking about speed nanners and all the humongous machinima guys, because they can care less, and they actually have a creative mind, and they actually have things. That, you or know, they, they just say, do what you do best. Yeah. yeah. Or like, like, yeah. Exactly. And we'll have shapes when they have a they made from all the drawings. Right. Mm -hmm. But the guys, see, not true all those. Yeah. Right, exactly, exactly. But the thing is, is when, when you go to these players, and you go to these, you know, YouTubers, uh, you know, that are partnered at five K subscribers that really don't know, you know, what a good background is, what a, you know, a high quality, you know, design is. They look at what they like, you know. So they, if they see something that's just really grungy, really out of this world, lot of flares, overuse of everything, that's what they like and that's what they want. So they're going to keep getting people to make the backgrounds until they get that exact product. And Hundred percent agree. That's where the whole style. Everybody keeps trying to make that same thing over and over and over again. They keep, you know, trumping themselves. You know what I'm saying? Well, the reason I would probably want a banner is just to put like my information about it, like what what my perspective of the community is and like what I'm here to do. You you don't really put that in a banner though. I mean, well, I, I just like to explain what I want to do. Through well, the only thing that I put in my banner is my name, what I do, my social media links. Yeah, that's basically all I would put in my. That's all I put. In that's my what I. That's and, exactly what I put in my. And uh, I posted a link in the description for the Muzzle Fuzzle background I did. I don't know if you guys saw it, um, but this is, is for a second him? channel. Yeah, Muzzle Fuzzle background, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what, like, opinions on it? Yeah, it's, it's amazing. I, I like, like the way it has. It looks like I a background. Like well, well, that was one thing. Originally, when I was talking to him on Skype, I didn't know it was for his second channel, or when I was talking to him on Twitter. I, it was only until Skype he told me, and... Um, See, this would be like a more of a gaming style background, like a real life background. Uh, for like, oh, I don't say that. It doesn't seem like a style that um, it doesn't really fit on my channel. Yeah, like, it's like for commentaries and games like Mortal Kombat. So mm -hmm. yeah, but nobody really spends time on people's pages anymore. It's there just to go get a few links because oh, with the new true. update, when you click on a video, it just brings you to the video page. Yeah, exactly. So, that's one thing I don't like about the uh, YouTube channel well, backgrounds are really irrelevant. What, I mean. what was that, Rita? Well, well, it's not even 
what what's annoying is I hate that feature. It's how like you can't just sit on someone's channel and scroll through the video. You have to click on it and it takes you to the video page. And then you gotta yeah, go that's, back that's to watch more videos. It's really annoying. That. Yeah. It, it's not even that it's annoying. Is it ruined you? I mean, it honestly, ruined YouTube. The new upload, like the template itself, is fine. I don't see anything wrong with the white template. I just feel like. The they should. They should give us the option to customize accessibility it. on the channel. There's not much more that partners have now than regular channels. I mean, we have a banner, big friggin' look. Yeah. Just get what they are. That's one thing. People ask, you know, they have that board around the videos. Like, when, right. when you think you know, about maybe, it, like, or maybe something that like we can actually brand our actual video page, like we're like mm -hmm. you know like a whole like you were saying with Vivo. Like the black border where you can put like a background, it just it would be it would be something cool to partner with that. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Well, one thing about it, like when you think back, like before I was ever partnered, or before like I had these options with partnership, like how bad like you strive to get partnership, and you would upload videos, and you just wanted to get partnership. But once you have partnership for, like I've almost had it for a year now, it it kind of like I could deal with not being partnered, you know? Like it's not as big of a deal now as it was back before you got partnered. Yeah. It's like. No, but I've noticed, do you guys notice that there's a bunch of people who really don't deserve a partnership? I don't want to say don't deserve, it's people oh, that, like, dude, back then, remember, you remember, like, you don't have to, yeah, partnerships yeah. aren't anything special anymore. It's not an achievement anymore. No, it's not yeah, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Start up their own freaking network. Sorry, I'm sorry to use someone as an example, but uh, the guy that just posted in the chat, I mean, you apply for partnership, I go on your channel, but you got 50 subs. I mean, You're not going to no, get but, it. But, I mean, back, back when I got partnered, I struggled to get partnered in 4,000 subs. So, it's the yeah. thing, it's the yeah, thing. That, that, that's how I was. I mean, that was, and listen, like, I, I got partnered from the beginning of Yash. I mean, me and Jeff, we met, like, you know, when Yash was uh, uh, two months old, maybe. I mean, had 4,000 subscribers, but I worked my way up there. I had, like, three, almost 3,000 subs on my main, and then that one had a copyright strike, so I had to build my way up on Call Me Rated X. So it's like... Mm -hmm. You know, that's kind of what, uh, yeah. it's like, you know, we still had to work for it. And then, I mean, I don't want to say, you know, all these smaller networks are ruining it, but, like, you know, well, the only, uh, I well, think. No, you can go ahead and say that, because they are ruining it. Like, go back two years, two years from now, everyone so let's, let's, look up people who had partnership, because they had, like, oh yeah, like, had, like shit point kind of people, you know? And nowadays, it's easier to get, it's easier to get a network now than it was to get a partnership. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Be, you can become you can become an words. aggregator for broadband TV in two days. And there's, well, there's, there's, there's over like I swear there's oh keep going. No, there's these new actual broadband TVs. They're they're from Russia. They're actually Russian broadband people. They're buying their own CMS and then selling parts of them off to people. It's just so people are. I mean, like you can start up a network just by getting in contact with you know some random ass guy, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can just get in contact with some Russian guy, and he'll be like, you know, you gotta do this, this, and this, here's your network, and that's it. Like, it, it I mean, it, it really just, did ruin the partnership program. It did, and I feel like, I don't know, I, I feel, part of me feels like, you know, I don't want some of the that. networks out there are just, yeah. you know, a joke, but, yeah, I'm gonna say yeah. that. Yeah. At the same time. But the, every network that really comes out, it really does bring down the standards of partnerships. I mean, when Gauss came around, it, it almost it brought it brought down the standards, but it was almost a good thing at that time because the standards were really fucking high. Yeah, like you had to be amazing yeah, to get into Machinima. It did bring it down, yeah. and Machinima started to think, well, okay, we have to bring our standards down as well to match them up. Yeah, but that was, that was, was okay. Well, yeah, another now thing is, with like 50 subscribers. well, it's not even partners. that. It's, it's you can have not. zero subscribers, and they're gonna go, okay, we partnership, Let's give you a partnership because we want to make you know 50 views off of you. They're not gonna give a shit anymore. There's no call. There's a lot of people that just make networks. And you know, they like, don't do it for real. Channels do get like the partnering channels do get in trouble for it, but I mean, they can always make another one on a different name. It's just, it's just stupid because. Owning a network like a year ago used to be so hard. You had to do these. Oh, they don't even know what they're getting themselves oh, yeah. into. Well, another thing about that better. is the whole YouTube YouTube's version of partnership for just monetizing videos is already like lowering the standards for partnership because right now I can create a channel and within 20 minutes of creating it, have custom thumbnails, custom upload times, 
uh, allow monetization on videos. It's like the only thing they don't get now is the custom branding. And how long is it going to be before every well, single person on YouTube can have it? No, exactly. Wait, so it's when you get custom thumbnails for everyone. Like, I, I don't know. I, I made a um, kind of like a test channel that I would just upload backgrounds that I wanted to see what they'd look like on like YouTube. And I was like, whatever, monetized it, right? It, it was and, like two weeks ago. They had the function. I yeah. was looking it up. And I had... Well, you can? Yeah, you can have yeah. custom thumbnails and things. But what they don't get is, like, if you enable monetization, it's going to take twice as long to get partnership with the network. Well, you have to do it when you monetize? Yeah, like, when you... No, like, no, add no, ads. No, 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 monetization, monetization is not for views. That's the ad sense. That's people being your ads. Whereas when you're with a network, it's per thousand views or whatever mm -hmm. they have for it. So when you're with a network, they get paid. You get paid on a different thing than, it's, than the ads or whatever. When you're with yeah. YouTube, you get paid per uh, per ad click or whatever or ad view. Mm -hmm. Whereas with right. 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 like, if, if, if it's the type of ad that's like the yeah. And whatever. one there's th different there's whatever. different premium ads, ads for whatever. different things. And, like, and one thing about ads on YouTube is like I have almost a thousand total upload views on my new channel, and three hundred of them are monetizable. So. Well, because like, some of them are come from mobile views too. Anything that's on yeah. mobile, well, I think they're starting to now. They no, no, mobile yeah. views don't count. Yeah, and like I think that's like really stupid because like well, it's not even that mobile views don't count. They um one IP is one view. Like yeah, what it used to be is like for instance that's the reason that my views, um, Apex views, um, everybody's views, views, your views, everyone's views. Period. They're always like, why aren't you getting as many views? The reason is because when you refresh a page on a video. You still only get one view. You know, yeah. every time you refresh the page, you get another view. It's when you ref when you view a video once, no matter how many times you refresh that page, it only counts one view. Yeah, which is not right because technically, every time you refresh a page, that should be yeah. But mm -hmm. that's when the botters would exactly. come in because then they would bot their own views, and then YouTube would have a hard time determining yeah, whether or not these views were legit, and it would just be creating a whole pain. So with this new system. It's legit views and legit. How many subscribers do you have? Well, there's still botters. Oh yeah, there are. But well, of course, there's always going to be the glitch. Yeah, and there's always going to be there, well, there's also fake partnerships these days. Hmm. Always, there's always going to be that glitch. It's always, it's always gonna. There's a, somebody's always going to be around. I'm just saying, it's like you know, do you want to keep what you what YouTube needs to ask themselves and Google itself? Do you want to keep ruining YouTube channels that are legit that we're getting all those humongous views like? Or do you want to, you know, just cut off all these, or do you want to, you know, let people actually, like, get those views and then, you know, monitor what they were doing before? The thing it, is, it, Google it, doesn't give a shit. They, they're making enough money. They're well, just doing it. They're, they're making their, their own job. One job. thing I think when I think, like, here. Google is Google could spend, like, a quarter of what they make in one day off YouTube and completely fix the site. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. they make, they make like, oh, probably, this, and I have no idea, ignorance speaking here, but they probably make, like, a, a million, few million dollars a day. Probably even closer to yeah. a billion. Easily. I mean, they could spend... Oh, net, their net stock would be, be ridiculous. Yeah. yeah their, their net stock is, like, $600 or something like that. I think it's... If you look at it, look at the ads. Yeah. Every company has to pay for those ad spots. They're paying Google few hundred thousand dollars for an ad spot that'll appear on people's videos so there's there's some money right there and those ads are every single day it was we were seeing random youtube videos that came on ads. I, I was oh, looking at one of my videos yeah. like toby a, turner ad, does that montage appeared to see yeah, yeah toby turner does that like uh his like sponsor walmart or whatever i think it's ea it's one of the two that he did a commercial for the video that he made while he was at, like, the Walmart displaying Madden 13 or whatever, I've seen that ad, like, a hundred times. Yeah. YouTube will select some of them, though. They'll be like, do you want us to use this for your channel? Because some of the bigger channels, they get a lot of different perks for being the bigger channels. Like, have you, did you hear about, like, the, uh, the gave away gift cards and... Oh yeah, the the gold plaques to the people with a million. Some of the gold plaques to everyone. I want a million subs so bad, right now. And if you had over a hundred thousand subscribers, you got a five hundred dollar gift card or something. To help your production and stuff. Yeah, what? Sorry. You got a five hundred dollar gift card if you had over a hundred thousand subscribers. Is that only is that only a one time thing, or are they going to keep doing that? It could be yearly. I don't. It might be only a one time thing. Okay, so they're not going to lose. 
It's not really. It's not when you reach 100k subs. It's not really gonna affect too much. Five hundred dollars. Yeah, it's not. It's, that's it's, not, so, it's not that much. Right? Yeah. It's yeah. You can also, make five hundred dollars per animation. You know, it's not such a big deal. That's it's true. It's pocket change. It really is. Yeah. I mean, All for right, people, so for people like catch and see. I'm gonna go eat some uh, some food. So I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. It was a pleasure being on here, guys. Uh, see you later. Right. Yeah. Thanks. Stuff as well, guys. All right. All right. I will see you guys later. If you ever do this again, I don't mind dropping by. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm going to try and do like a stream once a week or once every two weeks, but I don't know yet. Depending on school and stuff. Well, thank you, uh, Apex, for being on. Uh, it's been okay. a real pleasure. Said, well, we have people under me, so that would be kind of cool. So I think we, you guys should all go check out and help Apex get to 16K. I'm not leaving. I got 16k. Everyone go subscribe. So yeah, everyone go subscribe to Apex. Special yeah. guest first link. Put his link. Yeah, put his first link. What is oh, his thing? Six way. And drop down and drop to uh, Skybricks channel and say congrats for 4k. Yeah, I'm gonna put rated in Skybricks in the special guest category as well. All right. Yeah. Oh, six way. <laughs> uh, six. Come on, ball. Oh, I'm not even subscribed to you. <laughs> I'm just going to refresh. It's just me. It's why I'm not even subscribed to you. Link your channel in the description again, right here in the chat. You're, uh, you're five away there. You take it now. I'll make it for you. Call me with X. And, uh, Skybricks, can you link me your channel? Because I honestly don't know how to spell Deviant. <laughs> it's in the uh, description. It's in the Skype right now. Okay. Gotcha. Thank you. All right. Have a good one. Yeah, you guys have a good one. I think we're going to go ahead and close it out. It's been like a three hour stream already, so. Oh, like three hours, yeah. Uh, Pretty decent. Yeah, guys, yeah. I'll see you later. Peace. Yeah. See you. Uh, also, you, yeah, Jesse, have a good one. Yeah, you too, guys. It's been, uh, it's been fun. So. Well, I think it's just me. Uh, Hazard and Jesse now. So I think we're gonna go ahead and close it out. Uh, the stream officially. Well, let me save this real quick. Um, paste that. Save. I think we planned on a two-hour stream. Apex is only gonna stay for an hour, and it turns out to be a two-hour forty-four minute stream. And we have many awesome guests. We did have many awesome guests, and thanks yeah, Skybricks also for coming on here. No problem. Yeah. No. Well, sweet. Uh, you guys should all go check him out. Yeah, Get links are in the description. Uh, just it's refresh amazing. the page. He's amazing. So go check him out. Yeah. Great stuff. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and close it off here, guys. Thank you guys for stopping by the stream. And, uh, yeah. Peace. Peace out. All right.